But yeah, it's it's true. I like putting anti-Trump stuff up there so that my mom can see them, and then like she'll comment on them sometimes, and then her friend can see them, and I'm like, dance puppets, dance. Yeah, I went over to the guy's house and we had a good time. He's really nice. He kind of looks like a fluffier version of Jason Momoa. Like he's got a similar face. I can How see do we look? Going somewhere. Good. Should I move it any? Lift it up some, you think? No. Sure. Well, yeah, lift it up a little bit. What is it? You see in the background? Yeah. It's that painting. That, no, it's this bag. I'm Knock like, it down. Get out of here. Get out of here, bag. There's of another one. <laughs> There's a bag of bags. Just grab the whole thing. <laughs> it's it's. Gee. There, that's good enough. Is it, are you guys using it for insulation? No. <laughs> that's where I store my bags. I don't want to pick them up off the floor usually. Okay. Okay. You can. Because it looked like my head had like a weird yellow growth. It looks like not okay. You don't want to noticing that? <laughs> this is what the game will be about. How cute do I look? Okay. Hello, everyone. You see, uh, we're getting things going a little early today. We're down some players, which brings up a point. Um, a couple things. First of all, we'll address the issue of, we've kind of had, well, Freya should be back. That's Aaron. And what we don't have is uh, the orc. He's kind of got too many things going on, so he won't be able to make it anymore. So what do we end up doing? So we're going we're going to add another player. We'd like to get her actually around five most of the time. So what I need is uh, to anyone who's watching that lives in the Tri-City area that feels like they'd want to get involved, that's Tri-City, Washington, um, Kenwick, Richland, Pasco, uh, or Prosser, or Benton City, or West Richland. If they want to travel far, contact us and let us know if you want to join into the group. Uh, tell us what you want to be. We'll say between what are the list of races, leprechaun, fairy, elf, human, dwarf. And more than likely you'll see my boobs. So, added. There we go. Bonus. So, on with Gabe. Everybody and that, eventually. That was one of my friends that said hi. Oh, okay. Is it Cheyenne? Yes. Oh. Hi, Cheyenne. So, what we have is currently in the game, we're at a point where things have... Uh, Actually, you guys have progressed ahead of schedule in some areas. You've uh, actually gotten further with less bloodshed up to this point in the game. Yeah, he's having like blatantly assault everything. There's no mice down there, Guido. You go look. Guido's in the cabinet. Yes. She's in the kitty closet. Okay. No more fairies. Yes, fairy. No more fairies. Yes, fairy. Someone wants to play a fairy? They keep yes, dying my in friend my Cheyenne. backpack. She's like, I want to play a fairy. We could, if we have to, we could fit six people. We could put three on each side. Be tight fit, <coughs> wouldn't it? Um, You'd yeah, have to lose some space, dear. But we could put three on each side if we had to. Maybe. We'll see. We'll try one and we'll see. We'll see what it goes with. Um, well, you guys basically have accomplished more than is planned. So I think you guys... But I don't want to punish you by sending you to the next step, which is a demon dimension. Me. Especially since you don't really have a solid team anymore. I died. Well, you... Awaken. Oh. 
after that whole thing. Um, that ends like you went walking somewhere, got tired, decided to take a nap, and woke up in her basement. Everything does exit back to that portal point. It's ah. really roll a die six. One. One! Okay. I'm let's, getting attacked. Let's start with that. Yes, you are. Just watch out how much the table moves, because I don't want to be sitting in hot coffee. Because um, I got coffee there and coffee there. Hot coffee mod. You can put it on the metal part. Okay. Roll two dice six. Oh. Uh, seven. Okay. With a deepish growl, something comes running it from the darkness at you. Neat. Definitely uh, sounds unfriendly. What do you do wish I, to do? Do I have my weapons still? You have everything you have with you. Okay. The, when you uh, last played. Okay. In the other place. Okay. Oop. Ah! <laughs> she comes out of the darkness. Ada <laughs> was like, ha ha. I'm onto you again. I'm attacking. Huh? I'm attacking. And it ends up being a troll hound. No. <laughs> Daisy! Max your weapons out of your hands. Start licking your face. No, go ahead. Oh, go ahead. Oh, go ahead and do the whole bit. I'm working on it. Okay. Nice. Oh, my gloss is fucked up. Oh, was it that good? <laughs> you did to her, Alexia. It's, it's because Alexia. Fogged up your glasses. <laughs> I do what I can. <laughs> Maybe it's the idea of gaming with Cheyenne. <laughs> If they're fairies, do they have to like stand back from the table a little bit? And <laughs> stand in the extra room and just throw messages. I'm doing this. <laughs> okay, get this idea. Someone can play by phone. Very true. And be a fairy. Very true. <laughs> Make a fairy class something like that. So small that you're just. They talk off, off the phone? Unlike Facebook Live, or Facebook uh, video chat. But it would make more sense because they are less physically enacting in the game. And something I may work that out. It could be something fun to try. We'd like to put more of an interactive quality into our game if we could. Hey, no. what's your roll? You're not talkative. Why, why can't you not be talkative? We'll start on him soon. What'd you get? Huh? Uh, 60. Jeez. Yeah, it was a good roll. No, you you, you, you you killed it, but that's not the problem. Is it not working? No, it works. <laughs> Feel the buttons. The resistance. Let me see. It's like it's broke. Let me see. No? It works. It might be fine with the way I beat on my calculators. Damn, this is like Devon built. Yeah. Feel that. <laughs> the buttons. No, push like how hard they are to push how hard the buttons are. Oh. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> right, man. Alexis, touch my hard button. It was wonderful. Okay, <laughs> take 16 points for killing an orc. Yay. It was lost and confused and hungry down Was there. it Mal? No, it was just another animal. Damn! Another creature that just went through, came through Damn. The, the, the problems of your portal. Well, that's, that sucks. Yeah. Goblins will inform you that occasionally something does sneak out. They occasionally sneak down there and kill things. Okay. But sometimes something gets out and runs around town. Jellyfish. Only a few times, but those would get out anywhere. <laughs> They're between dimensions. They actually exist somewhere else. You know, this corner right now looks like I have all the controls for every fucking thing. <coughs> it's called <a> director. <coughs> yes, you're the definitely the audio director. <coughs> yeah. Still get over that cold.
Okay. <coughs> if anyone in the game should be alright with vaping. That's a two. Yeah. <laughs> no, we'll be doing it less when Aaron's here. Probably so stepping outside. Well, what I'm still saying is you can open, put a fan going that way. Take that little yellow one, put it right above you, like the one where next to my side of the bed. Why? Well, I'm fine with going outside. Okay. It keeps me away. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Well then, you killed that thing. Um, do you have anything for light? I have a torch. You want to light it up? Yeah, but... Okay. Roll a die six. One. Okay, roll three die six. Nine. Okay, roll one die six. Six. Roll three die six. Thirteen. Okay. Um, there's a corner in the room where it looks like there's been a few things that have appeared down here and been killed. Let's come through this gate. Huh. And uh, you find a bunch of loose gold. Wow. About 130 gold. Gold. Nice. This thing is like piled into the corner of her basement. Cash. Cash would be nice. <laughs> so, you, you go ahead and head out? Yeah. Okay. Grab that gold. No! <coughs> no! Find Okay. You're doing that. Go down the uh, long hallway and you get to an end. A wall. Yeah. It's you way see up the there. light from the, the shed you know that's up there. Shit. It's like, what was it, 100 feet? Yeah. I thought it was 80. No. No, you fell 80. Uh, you fell somewhere else. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I remember 80 for some reason. 78, 79, 80! <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm missing something over here. Uh-oh. The red battery. No, you're not. Bill, could you have me up? Just in case. Okay. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> it's her vape pen. Her, her back. There's no. Pen. There's no rope still. Didn't we leave a rope? Or did we oh yes, I did. You did? I left one of my hundred foot. So that okay. There's a rope. Yay! I'm gonna climb it. Four strength rolls. Level one. One. Two. If you don't make it twenty, let three, me know. Four. Okay. I have twenty strength already. So as long as I don't. So you didn't roll a three. Yeah. Okay. You and your chubby kins. Your little pouch. Your papoose. My papoose? What? Your baby. Oh, yeah, my baby. Braggers! Yeah. <laughs> Do you have avocado seed? Avocados. Or watermelon. <laughs> How many terms can we can make up <laughs> for pregnancy? Seven. Seven? Yeah, probably seven. Just seven? Just seven? Of course, yeah. besides the standard Prager's. Prager's, yeah. Or like my mom when she was pregnant with me, she looked like a beach ball. I like to refer to him as with parasite. Yeah. The balloon. <coughs> I come down, sir. <laughs> wow. That one came out of an argument one time. Lifelong STD. No, I wouldn't get on that one. <coughs> well, I mean, it's something that you get from having sex and it's around for the rest of your life. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty close. At least you have to send it to college, though. What, what's over my head? Lisa, tell her what's over her head. Nothing goes over my head. My reflexes are too fast. I would catch it. No, when... When Devin was saying your papoose. <coughs> oh, yeah. Your, your pouch. That was a papoose. It is a... I'm like, why would I have a fanny okay, pack? That no. doesn't make sense. What a so baby is, is, is... It's a it's a baby carrier. Yeah, no, from it's Indians. Indian. Oh, uh, okay. You know, where they baby would be wrapped in almost like a a triangular shape with round on top. It goes up like this, and the child sticks his head out the top like a sleeping Oh, yeah, 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 okay. That's a pampoos. Okay. Because I can't read with those. <coughs> 
Are they around? No, somebody stole them. Okay, well then. It wasn't then. me. Oh, I can still read. It just you, takes, takes a little bit for me to get to it, though. Well, then, we'll just have to work with it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you guys did pretty good. Got further than you should have. I don't think I should reward you by now sending you off into a dimension with half your players and dying. Okay. Plus, you guys don't have a mage, which was kind of originally what needed to decipher the information. Um, Devin, would you like my coffee? Okay. Sure. Had enough? Oh, drink your other drink. I was gonna get some coffee. I don't even don't even have to go get it. It has creamer and hot chocolate in it. Good. Just perfect for you. Hot chocolate? Do you want some hot chocolate? There is a pouch left. Well, I've also got another box in there. Yeah, that's the one that has one. Okay. We got two. The one over there is behind the pitcher. We can't reach it. Oh, it's over there now? Yes. Here. And there's a spoon on top of it. There's a spoon on top of it. Marshmallows. Yep. They get mocha. I was gonna use I was gonna use my my pencil to make you know lead poisoning copy. They're not made of lead anymore. <laughs> they work better as candles now. That's true. You were you can connect uh, electrodes. To the um, lead, the graphite of a pencil, mm -hmm. and it will burn brighter than a, than a candle for a short while. It'll it'll be able to actually cook the uh, windows are shooting out sparks. Mm -hmm. Very you conductive. Light crayons on fire and they'll burn for like a few hours. Yeah. We just that's something you do when you like trying to survive, pulling out big boxes of crayons. <laughs> It'd be like trying to stay, keep your house lit by birthday candle. Froggos. You like those little candles? <laughs> okay, new candle. <coughs> no, I think I'd find a way to just melt them all into one big fucking ass candle. Yeah. Let it drip into a bowl, keep going. Okay. Well, long time we've gotten to this point to tell you, you succeeded at half of the adventure. The one is actually an old one I have called Druids of Doom by Bill Pixley and Diane Mortimer. It was greatly cut up and altered for the adventure, but we've gotten about halfway. So, I'm going to give you guys half your bonus points. Just bonus experience points for finishing it. Because oh. I'm gonna, we're going to leave the last part of this where they're having to work out the mathematics to create the gates to the mages, and they'll let you know when they when they finally worked it out. Because a, they really don't want any more people knowing about this than already do. <coughs> so you guys will be back. What I call this is back to the daily grind, back to city things, uh, parts of the town we haven't dealt with. Because you guys attack these tunnel things, you're like, ah, oh, start digging up the town. You yeah. buy and land and digging holes in it. There has to be a tunnel here. You keep going about three more feet and we can call it a tunnel. Quick, to check it for wandering monsters. <coughs> <coughs> so everyone takes 500 experience. Everyone takes 500 damage. Yeah, nope, 500 experience. Because the whole thing's worth a thousand. So you get half your bonus points and then we continue the rest when we go through the rest. First of all, like I said, we'd like to have a more solid team than just like today, three players. Yeah. Now, and I have a bunch of stuff I already wrote for town. We're just going to go through that stuff. Uh, anyone have a level? Probably not. You guys are pretty far ahead. What's, um, what's um, six? I think it's like a thousand or something like that. Six? And mine, because we have a zero level, for those that are watching. And why? Because I think there's a point where you just don't know anything. It's a point where you actually get your, before you finally get your full warrior wizard bonuses. <laughs> <coughs> Six level is 15,000. Okay. I okay. think in the regular game, it's uh, three th uh, fifth level is that. But in our sixth level is 15,000. Okay, so we have a little bit. Yeah. 
I'm at 8,300. When did I surpass you? Oh, I know where. You've got a thousand from finishing that thing in the other dimension. Oh, uh, that's right. You gotta kill yourself and then have to come back. <laughs> you gotta jump down holes randomly. No. She did. He did. And he kept running back out of it real quick. There's an infant demon in there, drunk, screaming, yelling. I'm not dealing with it today. And then he came back home. Okay. You got your bonuses? Everyone good? We're going to expand our to exploring the rest of Gull's City. Um, also, though, one thing you guys have completed <coughs> is the random encounters around town. Uh, well, you don't have to check for monsters anymore. Uh, the mage that was causing all that, that druid that's down in that one spot that you left behind. Uh, but he was, he quit because he's now got what he needed, the information. And he's working with the red robe priest to find a way to get him and some other refugees that are living around the city out of here. But what was in the hole that I died in? They go down and even check. Well, you first of all, you come crawling out of his shed. Yeah. So you're at Ado's house. Your house is across the street, I believe. Somewhere. It? It's, it's in that yeah. area. Damn you, kids, get off my lawn! Do I go check and check with Ado? <laughs> always. Yeah. Ada, what happened? You Ada? died. Why? Wait. Because you fell down a hole. If I'm dead, why am I still here? Magic. I don't know. Am I a zombie? Maybe you're a ghost. Zombie, and I'm gonna be a mom. I'm a mombie. <laughs> Quick, copyright it. <laughs> Don't tell the Walking Dead. Probably already has. Oh, what was the other one? Wombie. There's, there's. I, I, I have bombies. Gombi? No, it's a zombie that has a bomb sewn into its belly that lights it on the way to you. Okay. I, I, I have to assume they're made by a wizard somewhere. I don't think they naturally became... They don't naturally stick that way inside of other no. reports people. I hate being me! Come here and watch! Lisa said you're lost. You're lost, so... He doesn't have... A, she doesn't have enough fairies with her. She needs more fairies. I told you! Well, oh, no, we don't need fairies! No more fairies. We don't need any more. Yes, we do. They keep disappearing or dying. Yeah, because you kill them! You think no, you your backpack? Run. The other one. She vanished somehow. She well happens. Last I don't know actually if you guys met her. Most of you guys didn't really meet her. She that was the one that was in your boat? Okay. Ado had the last one in her glove in his glove. You had one in the backpack, he had one in the glove. I don't know where either of them went. That one just yeah, right. Gone. We're going to check your attic and find, like, a couple, a, a wall with, like, butterfly collection of fairies. <coughs> God damn it. Okay. That's it. I'm going to start throwing gummies at him. We don't have the right kind of gummies. Oh, that is that. Uh, I can eat that chocolate. Whoa, that's a cool picture. Just got a little bit loud. Okay. Um. I know you're not gonna eat my chocolate. I need for everyone to roll two dice six. Just give me the numbers straight. I got them together, but don't do doubles. Six, seven, eight, seven. 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 These are those backup. Counters that I have in case, like, there's timers. Lisa brought up a valid point. What? Or a valid question. Were they sugar plum fairies? No. I would think that was a fairy with an obsession of sugar plums. Maybe sugar plums can be used to make alcohol. Maybe that's what happened to the fairy that was in my glove. It got drunk? Sugar plum sounds like something you make an alcohol out of. Okay, um, uh, Christelia, roll two die six. I did. What'd you get? Eight. Eight. 
And eight oh. Ten. <laughs> Don't scare her like that. <coughs> She'll give birth. <coughs> You have a knock at your door. Really? After Ado came in, or uh, after Castelli came in and started asking you questions about her. So. What? <laughs> Did something follow you from the basement? Could be. What do you mean? Okay, you're over there. Open the door. Yes. It's a gentleman with a squirrel. He's a delivery, message delivery with man. A squirrel? Again. Squirrel. A squirrel. This is like the fifth one today. We never know what the squirrels. Mornings. I haven't slept yet. Oh, okay. He hands it to you. Looks like it's from S and G. Okay. Okay. I don't get it. Uh, it. They want to discuss with you. Have you guys actually come up with terms as to your deal? What do you want as a monthly stipend or payment? That's what we need to decide. And they have an issue with one of their suppliers that you arranged. Okay, I'll go take care of it. Well, first you stop by the office. I'll give you the details. Bring, you know, any additional help you might want. But that is under your employment. It's part of your your payments. You ain't getting paid while well, you're going with me. How about Castelia's in your house? You're going with me. He opens the door, goes out there, sees a uh, silver fox there. dumping his trash, looking a little baggy under his eyes. Good thing you didn't take much damage, because actually, because your current sleeping condition is known as camping, and you only get half recovery overnight. Hey. Which we don't pay much attention to, but actually recovery should be like a die six for sleep and everything. Let's see about doing two die six to give a chance of like incredible healing, but then we have to say there's something doing. <laughs> well, I'm half demon, so. Yeah. Right now, I just let us all start at full again so we don't have to deal with it. Okay. I'm not trying to kill you. We're having fun. Now, if you die on the way because you jump down an 80 foot hole. Chris saw you. It's because parts of this mission in this adventure were like for higher level people at the time, level five to nine. So I put in a back, you know, just in case someone died at early levels. And when I cut the place up, it was like to basically be what would have been multiple encounters of big things to be just an area of one big encounter. So, um, you go there. Give you a short of it so we can all get moving. Uh, first of all, what's your payment? Fifty gold a month. What? Fifty gold no. a month. Now, if you have additional expenses, you can have additional expenses for that month up to that amount, and sign form and send them to us. Otherwise, we'll have to discuss. So, that's what it is. Here's your fifty gold and your first job. Uh, Simon. Of the uh, Salamonkey wagon, you know, sausage wagon and uh, other things he sold. Yep. As well as pies. Well, he's run into a problem, he says, and he's been like desperate to look for answers and uh, said if uh, he doesn't find an answer, we were going to lose on this deal and, well, you know, Grubbin wanted his food. Grubbin? All right, well, I'll go talk to him. Okay. Um, I'll give you up front, he said, uh, He's looking for some bodyguards. Okay. So, they tell you where to find him. Now, for city back one, I use this for a lot of city stuff. It's worth a try. I want to run out of this, we'll be done with this, unless, you know, people at Tulsa Charles want to send me new books. <laughs> Or I happen to buy them. I'm just Could be some more I mean, they know that, that, that we exist. Yeah. Well, oh, I'm sitting there just watching. Okay. 
Now, all you guys end up going to this. I take it, right? Yes. Just to make things simple. Oh, okay. Well, you were already there at the house. Yeah. And you just slept when you woke up and had to fight an orc. So it's like you've already slept. You could check on your animals, make sure everyone's been fed. Yeah, I should probably do We'll that. do that on the way out. Okay. I guess you could say I slept like the dead. <laughs> you and Freya could talk about your weird otherworldly experience. Yeah. How much more difficult hers <laughs> was than mine. I'm just like, I will go. Should have like, turned left. Eh. Okay. I'm done. <laughs> you should have just turned left. No. Okay. Slime and strolling. Salmagundi wagon. This is a colorful festive cart, about four feet long, twenty two and a half feet wide, topped with large umbrella decoration, with a pattern of fish and ships and sea monkeys. According to Skibo, his pet spider monkey, Slimer wheels his cart around the city, crying out in a large gravelly voice, Salmongity fills your innards, keeps you warm. It's a thick stew-like dish composed of chopped meats, fish, and lots of onions, and a wide variety of spices. A uh, wagon always contains three deep iron pots of it. Three pots are set into the top of the wagon, and it's kept hot and steaming by coals placed in the built-in firebox at the bottom of each pot. Uh, it comes in three varieties, mild, medium, and sun sweat. Uh, for a silver piece, a customer can have a hefty portion of it and a thick, ch crusty chunk of bread. The, ba the bread is kept in a wooden box hung on the side of the wagon and is cut up as needed and actually comes from the, the bakery that you'd already been to. Hmm. Um, they also have uh, ginger beer, three copper pieces, red wine for one silver piece, and famous homemade grog for three silver pieces. Uh, it's about as potent as a tanker of rum. It's very popular. Uh, you basically see, he, he like rolls up to like work locations. It's kind of like you would see the lunch truck in nowadays world. He finds the location, rolls up there. His monkey goes and tells everyone he's there, and they come over here and grab food until he's out. Um, Pies he also makes, makes those at home, because that's like a bit of extra money on the side. Pretty much only makes, so like he'll, he'll have a couple pies with him, but you know, they ask, Grubbon, Grubbon, or Grubbon, asked for a much larger portion of pies, so he had to start making them at home more. Now, <coughs> here's a picture of him. He's hot. He <laughs> looks kind of like Mario, with a fancy hat. Yeah, a monkey. And a monkey, which is like where all the sex appeal comes from. Do you want to show them? Well. The viewers? Ah! I don't know if they can see that or not. Hold on. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, you can see that. Yeah. Okay. Now, on this fun little occurrence, uh, he will tell you that... Uh, he has a new sausage recipe and uh, some cross other comp other people competition has been after it. Um, so I need sausage. some bodyguards right now. Okay. <coughs> okay. And that's basically I'll go out and you guys just kind of watch to see what's happening. And uh, if you see something that looks suspicious, like people hanging all around extra, you know. Um, the guys, well, this won't help much, because I hang around a lot of the docks, but the guys look like, you know, dock men type groups.
should be back in a while. Okay. And we're back. Okay, everyone roll a dice six. Is there going out? Really? Hey! <laughs> six. Five. <laughs> That's our number between one and six. <coughs> Five? Okay. See, so like, say, stop. I'm coughing. Okay. <laughs> You're right, so everyone gets to make an intelligence roll. That's for your red encounter. So take intelligence plus two dice six roll. Basically, you're looking to see if you see anything questionable, like people tailing him and stuff. Twenty. Thirty. Thirty-two. Thirty-two. Okay. Both of you, because you didn't, you only made a first level roll. Yeah. You need at least a second level roll. You two saw one thuggish, dark looking guy, kind of like stand back a bit, and he kept like, you, you like guys noticed him a couple times, like, actually like four times. He'd stop somewhere and you'd find him after a while, watch him. Following us. Do you want to go talk to him? Yeah, I think I'm all the way right here. I don't see anything. Deal with it as Freya. Hey, you! Hey, who's following us? You come here! Thump, 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 Try to hit me. That would be Freya. Who else here has that kind of armor? No one. She should make everyone's armor. Pan shot. Okay. You want to go up and talk to him? Yep. He makes a break for it. You want to chase him? No. Okay. That'd be an open trap on that one. <laughs> Smart maneuver. Okay. Well, you just got to keep an eye on it now. We have been. No, I mean more because they know we're watching them now. Um, do you say they just slam it? Yeah, I just tell them what's going on onto it, what we saw. and uh, I never saw that guy before in my life. I don't know who he was. Uh, he's been following and uh, he ran. <laughs> don't know why. Well, I was just walking over to him. Okay. It was just over here. Yeah, I know. I saw it over there earlier when I was cleaning up stuff. I don't know why. Where is it? It's one of my little... She used to have to frickin' like three times a day. A saline. We clean me. I use them for all uh, the movies. The cheap medical <laughs> supplies. When you were playing with your... When you were going like this, Lisa's like, Yes, that was your boob, Crystallia. Yeah. There's these weird growths on my chest. Then there be boobs. Yes. The tittle skittles are working well. <laughs> your, your front butt is developing? Yes. Front butt. You're having fun yeah. with it. My chesticles. Still can't keep it, keep keep her hands off of them though. They're <laughs> They're mine. I can touch them. Let's I be want. honest. Every man that I know, if they had like female tits, they would play with them. So you can't work. You're too busy sitting there. Yeah. And then they're sore. I wonder why they're always sore. Because of my pills. So no, because you're telling me them. because they're growing all the time. If it's only the nipple. You had a set of boobs on your chest. You wouldn't be playing with them, Bill. Don't know. I think you would be. Possible. Okay. <laughs> Everyone roll a die six again. Six. Six. Two. Okay. Oh, yeah, Lisa even said she's a female. She plays with hers. Yeah. All is good. The rest of the day, they, they, they disappeared. Nothing happens. Evening. What do you do? I want to eat some of that food. Are we okay. done? Uh, for today, I go out again tomorrow. All right. Until we can Did find you out want some grog? Is. I can buy you some grog. I can let you guys eat for free. <gasps> okay. 
Me and you. I'm free. Choose which one you want out of it. You know, eat anything that's still left in the cart. Yeah, it's, it's the thickest of the, the stew that which fell. I more vegetables. Okay. Anything. Um, I got bread and grog and wine and I'm out of the other. Ginger beer. Ginger beer. Yeah. Yeah. I I'm gonna that. have that because I'm pretty good. Okay. I forget I'll have the heavier stuff. Of course. Start drinking. But I want the spiciest of the food. Okay. It's all quite tasty, except for the stew is heavy in meat. Oh, yes. Nope. So I love meat. You can go just, you know, the sauce. Like, no, it's been stewing in meat. <laughs> I'll have some of the broth. What do you have those sharp teeth for? Roots. Oh, okay. Deep potatoes, solid? Yes. Okay. I got potatoes. Since when? I've seen you eat meat. You put that orc. Yeah, that's me. No, I heard orcs were made out of carrots. <sighs> oh. I I don't eat orc. You only bite him if you're in a fight. I bit an orc because he fucking put his arm in my mouth and pushed me up against the wall. I think he's going to rape you. No, that's right. You only suck an orc dick. That's no, that's you. I mean, ones. Okay, <laughs> um... The monkey was kind of fun. He kind of seems to do whatever Simon asks him. Uh, but, you know, all you guys make charisma rolls. See how the monkey responded to you guys. 28. You need a... There's a thing. Okay. You need a roll for you to see how the monkey likes you or not. Okay, so I'm gonna... uh, When I get home, I'm just going to take a huge hit of my pen and it's like... <coughs> I have school tomorrow, and I really don't want to go. Or, but I do. Here's the roll. <laughs> Two dice six, plus a charisma. Because it's just the basic for it. Um, 36. <coughs> 10 points for the two of you for experience that detected things. Cristalia just kind of hung around. Yeah. The eight and stuff. And eight stuff, yeah, because you're just following around this. You uh, probably have been eating all day. Yeah. You're like taking every, taking little samples. Your taste would just get you. You'd be like, in the morning, you're like first one to show up. Let's go. Yeah, let's do this. I can follow this carrot all day long. <laughs> 59. <laughs> For Christelia, it's free food. You just bring your own pregnant woman. Here. <laughs> I'm helping. Yeah. You guys got this fight. Other pregnant women show up to you. <laughs> Cheating. No, it's mine. I, I rolled a 59. <laughs> stomach battle. You don't have one yet, but you work on it. Huh? I rolled a 59. 59? You're getting one. Skeeves likes you. I got 36. 36, you two. How about you? What'd you roll for charisma? 28. Wait, not as much. Not as much. You probably, probably smell of badger and lynx. <laughs> and demon. And demon baby. <laughs> demon baby. Uh, we can't expect the... Oh, he has problems with crats, too, if I remember right. <coughs> Aren't you the one that just killed one? Out and out? Or is that her? I tried oh, to yeah. prevent it. And then I... Oh, the Edo? Epic On what? Who killed a crat because they fucking got... Uh, oh, there it is. Oh, no. Oh, go away. I did not. Yes, you did. No. Yes. I wanted to befriend it. You. Someone got Oh, go away, and they went berserk on it. That was you. You killed it. Oh, that's true. Okay. <laughs> you, it was like, we don't just like other cats. You, you were like defending territory. It's hit her. <laughs> Good, I actually needed to change back. Whoops! See, I gotta change back. Get away with you. Oh, I have a blue blue wine drinking buddy. Gross. Hmm? Lisa. Come on. 
Oh yeah. This is on there. Okay. What? I was just trying to remember. I was trying to remember all the people out there. Me and Lisa have a wine in common that we both like. A wine? Yes, yes. Boone's oh, Farm. Yeah, they're, they're, yeah. Boone's Farm is my favorite wine because they don't taste like alcohol at all. Exactly. That's why I like Long Island iced teas and those have a lot of alcohol. There's a there's one that's like Long Island, so they're slightly different that are like really, really good. I, like I don't remember what they were called. But I only had Long Islands from uh, the Mercury Works. And have you ever tried an AMF? She works. Those are fun. Okay, <laughs> next day. Everyone needs to make a level three intelligence check. Twenty, twenty-five, thirty. I just needed thirty. Off of what? Two dice, six plus your intelligence. Yep. Perception, basically. IQ. Off. Your IQ. Yep. Which I don't fully agree now, with. Now see, the AO's eating. Yes. Granola. Granola's good. Like a damn hippie. Fuck you. I got thirty-six. He's also got long hair. Like a damn hippie. Her her boyfriend was. Was did short stubble all over his head. Up to him. Thirty-four. <laughs> Thirty-four. <coughs> What'd you get? Thirty-eight. Oh. Yeah, I got you two noticed. doubles. <laughs> all you guys noticed another th thuggish duck were here, and this time with a guy that looked a little scummier. Kill him. Like you know, had a hook in one hand. Look dirtier, walking with him, and the thuggish guy was pointing out towards the wagon to the guy with the hook. I'm gonna go cycle. Okay, start heading that way. Yep. They hook it. I'll stay here and protect this. You guys okay, go after it. I'll stay here. I don't want to die. You won't die. You're the great Ado. Shut up and eat your food. She's like, go chase him. Go chase him. <laughs> you know, you, yeah. They're running. To dipping whoop, put a bread in there. Fine, I'm gonna go after them. You could just like wait and see if they show up again. You well, want to do another round of checks? One. Four viewers. No. <laughs> <laughs> One. Random encounter, giant. All right. <laughs> I thought I quit doing this. I quit appearing out of nowhere. Where's my back here? Did I drink it? I did. Bad Devin. Don't mind. It, I don't. I don't know. Forty-five. Huge fan of it. I don't mind. What? What's your problem? The coffee taste. It, what, is it like a flavored coffee? Hazelnut. Oh, yeah. see, that's why I don't like flavored coffees. I also have some folders in the uh, cabinet. Well, yeah. now I, I should have made that. <laughs> we also have individuals. We have a. No, we can't use that. Right now. Well, we turn the heater off. If I knew where it was. I'm fine. I got water. Okay. Now. Anyone make the rolls over 30 on their intelligence plus 2 dice 6? 36. Uh, uh, food! No. no. 20. I don't see anyone. <laughs> Ooh, sausage. <laughs> oh. It's like that cat on that one coop. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. Ooh, that one's got a number. Ooh, what the fuck is that? <laughs> yeah. Can't touch this. Okay. We're little twins there? Huh? We're little twins there or? Yeah. yeah. I was shaving my head and realized I had really hairy eye ear on one side. It was crazy. I had to trim that bitch down. Can't stand it. What's <laughs> that? Oh yeah, yeah. Welcome from Russia. Guys. The problem is it just makes the top of your head look like it disappeared we are up like to background. Six viewers. <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> Huh? We're up to six. Well, two of them are right here, but... No, that's all right. And the one in the bedroom doesn't count. It sits off the... Uh, Actual... The YouTube. YouTube site. Yeah. So it's just to review it. It'd be so easy to freak up set up a live show. I still think I'd like to try that once a month. I'd I got it. plenty of stuff. I'll do it. You should come, come up with an idea. Same with you. For a show piece. And I could even, like, divide up studio space. I'd like to see if I could find a way to hook up your camera. That one you got? 
Remember that one that was really nice? I guess even has a three jack connection. Okay, back to this. <laughs> yes, you guys do see him again. But with another one of the uh, guys. This one has a hat. It probably looks like a, a captain's hat. Okay, I'm going. Okay. Um, I don't care. I'm going. I die, I die. I don't care. I'm going right behind you. Make sure you're... Oh, my God. I do not need a freaking babysitter. You can go with me if you want to, but I don't care. I'll hold down the fort. I'll back, I'll back you up. How's that? <laughs> yeah, keep shoving on. Both of you making uh, uh, speed mouth. check rolls. What? The really spicy stuff is the best. What is it? Uh, two dice six plus your speed. Fifty. <laughs> what? Udo's what? cruising pretty fast. Did she just call me Udo? Udo. Udo. <laughs> Udo's from no, Africa. No, that, that's how she says my name. Full of food. Udo. <laughs> Udo. <laughs> Thirty-seven. Okay. You caught one of them. <coughs> okay. Uh, it's the dog, thuggish dog-looking guy that you had seen the first time too. That's why he was easier to point out. <coughs> the others. Oh, I'm confidence. tackling his ass. Yeah, you got him. You tackled him. Just his Make ass. Strength roll. The rest of it is running away, but his ass is in your arms. Take it home, use that sucker. That changes the meaning of pillow fight completely. <laughs> I'm not pillow fighting you anymore if that's your pillow. Just some random guy's ass. I'm not gonna get Alvin Herpes out of my. No. <laughs> Damn you, elves. <laughs> Trying to infect a game master, so I'm an elf too. <laughs> Well, and you guys secretly killed the uh, sheriff, <laughs> the half orc sheriff. You can't prove that. Nobody can prove anything. No, because the only guy died. I will cut a bitch if anybody says I did it. Okay. You did it. You tackled. Except for you're all the way back. <laughs> I rolled <laughs> eating food. I rolled <laughs> They're blocks away. You did it. <laughs> fifty-seven. Yeah, fifty-seven. Got him. Uh, what's up? You tackled him, um, what was the same roll you made, what level? 50 something? Uh -huh. 20, 25, 30. We're gonna let you roll 5 dice 6. But this is non lethal, right? Yeah. Yeah, you're not like shoving his head into the ground. <laughs> head, head, doing a, a bar that Sienna looks like tackle, you ran up and just grabbed his head. Bam! She's trying to stop him. <laughs> just ran like, him down and pushed him on the ground. He will lose their feet. Fight. See how you are. I just caught his butt. How'd you do that? <laughs> 23. 23. Yes. Okay, you got it. him. No question. He's kind of roughed up a bit. He's tired. He couldn't run any further. What do you want? First off, why are you here? Because I was paid to. Second off, who paid you? Guys told me not to tell anyone. If you want to leave, you're going to tell me. What, you going to kill me out here in the street? Do it. Do it. Do it. You're a cop. Or you could just sit in a jail cell. Or Can't feed my kids if I do that. Well, then you're going to tell me. What do you want to? Who paid you to spy on my boss? Those two guys that were with me that you guys, when you first saw me. The second Where, time, not the, not the first time. Where's their little hangout? Probably at their boat. Ooh, they have a boat. That means they're rich. Not necessarily. I know. You're not even here. Uh, super pregnancy here? Someone walking by. She comes walking up with a bowl of food. <laughs> Show me the boat and I'll let you leave. It's the sacred rose. It's out on the deck. Docks. The decks. Okay. The docks. It's out on the deck. Go away. Go away. It's out in the private section. Yeah, the song is still there. It's not usually there. It's just 
paying per day. He plans not to stay. I gotta go back to work. So it looks like I'm not gonna get paid today. I'll give you a hundred gold. I'll take you to the boat. They were only paying me five. I will give you a hundred gold since you have a family. Okay. I will to take you to the boat. You want to go to the boat? Yes. Okay. Um, he takes you and points you out to the boat. So, uh, 20, 30 men freighter. I'm not freighter. Um, skiff, mm -hmm. I think. Yeah, skiff. One main sail. One triangular sail. Not very big, but it's good enough for, like, shores, but you wouldn't, like, cross the ocean to ocean with it. But you'd, like, hit stuff just around the town, around the, um, island. Um, it's a pirate ship. Yeah. And it has the, uh, um, well, the sign on it from the flag that's on it, because you have to have flags when you have your boat parked to the city, is, uh, rangers, which are protected pirates. They're pirates, but they're privateers, basically. Ah, okay. um, but it looks like he's been excommunicated, basically. Exiled. He has no protected status. That's what you can see from just looking on shore, because he was a warrior, and fighters are trained to understand the basics of... Uh, under you know, you're a mariner. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he was at the sea for a while. Yep. That was part of his fighting, learning to learn, you know, to grow up, which actually could come in later, because I'm thinking about doing spell jamming later. When you guys get high enough level, 10, 15. Yes, I am. Taking the DC, uh, or the D&D uh, &D spell jammer, and taking all the trolls into it. Right. Spaceships. No, uh, fantasy and space. Dimensional. It's kind of <coughs> neat. Yeah, I played it in D&D. &D. Huh. I got a bunch of stuff for it, just laying around. I try to use what I have available. I don't want to, I don't have money to buy anything. <coughs> but I have a lot of stuff I've never used before. Because when you're younger, you have so many ideas, you just use your own. And I had all these ideas, this stuff, and it's like, well, why don't I use them? I still have stuff left in Canada. Oh, my kids are getting to use it. And my grandkids. So, where are we? You're beating him up. No, you're taking him. He tows the pirate ship. That's what you know of the pirate ship. You see it there. It's got people on it. Anything you want to try or want to do? Might as well just... He takes his golden leaves. Oh, he'll tell you. It's Captain Osman Jack. He is the uh, captain of the ship. He's a disgraced ranger. He hit a ranger ship, basically, and lost his standing. Well, we could do our police duties. He said duty. Them. Let's go say hi. After you. All right. I'm not a police duty, so. <coughs> You're still over with the food. Yeah. <laughs> so you go over. They don't have the game set <coughs> down for you or anything. Just the boats tied to it. Do you, like, yell for it, or do you, like, force your way on board, or? Yeah. Actually, one? no. I know. But also, I take him count. You are secret police. You are not um, police. You stay here. I'm gonna go and let Grom know. What's going on? Yep. Now keep an eye on him. Yep. All right. Okay, so you're staying there tonight. You're running. Well, for now, you're running to go talk to Grom, and you're sitting with him at the wagon. You make an intelligence roll. Uh, uh, uh. Twenty-seven. Okay. That's second level. Mm -hmm. Not third. That's always the case. She's busy eating. Well, she make a second old intelligence roll looking up everyone's well. Go on. I hope there's no pregnant one coming for my food. You have seen no no threats, so you're eating comfortably. And start to f flock around the wagon. You can't get away. Stop it! I need bodyguard! Where are my bodyguards? <laughs> right here. Okay. So 
He's being protected by you in your food bowl. <laughs> you are it's going my massive to draw. Weapon. It's you know. And you are watching the ship. Okay. Mm -hmm. All of you roll one die six. Three. Right. Three, five, so we have three oh, six. Oh. with Edo. I wasn't sure if it five was five with Fox. I got six. And six with you. Yay. Trist. Castelia. Okay. Yeah. Castelia. What? You're sitting there. Yep. And after a while, <laughs> you notice someone that's been kind of watching. Not coming up and buying stuff. They're just kind of staying back a bit. As he's like heading towards the end of his day. So but he doesn't seem to approach. He's not coming to get food. But you've seen him a few times. Every time he stopped to sell stuff. You keep seeing this guy hanging back a bit. Kind of looks like a a sailor or something. I'm gonna. I'm going to unsheath my weapons just to be safe. Okay. Be like, hey, are you uh, buying stuff? He backs up some more. As soon as you like start showing weapon, kind of confused. Not sure which way to take it. Mm -hmm. But he kind of backs up a bit, but he doesn't go away. He like keeps reappearing, but back further now. So you don't find him quite as often. Um, next, but he's, he's, try, he's not trying to conflict with you, but he is trying to follow you. Well, probably not you. Unless he's after your, your dish of food. Thanks. <laughs> I can't see him because I won't look that way. It's mine. You can't have my ah. stuff. <laughs> I'll do that to Guido sometimes, you notice, ever? We give her food and she'll like look around like, what's he doing? I go, Arr! and she'll like start eating it. Like I'm going to take it from her or something. Like when I do that to her cat food, or her uh, tuna? Yeah. Well, I'll get right down next to her face and, so start, hear her start, and start moving her plate. And she's like, yeah, she like she growls at you too. That's what I was talking about. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, she growls next at you. is Fox. Yes. Um, after a while, you see a uh, gentleman kind of comes up over to the dock over by the boat, and he whistles. It's kind of an odd whistle, not just a normal whistle. So it comes out, and they throw down a quick gangplank. And the guy starts running up the gangplank. Stop. Mm. You do see also about three or four people on top, so there's a few people up there. Yeah. Don't want to take too much of a chance right there being alone. Okay. I'll just keep watching. Okay. They pull it back. And then Edo, you go talk to Grom. Uh -huh. What are we after him for? I mean, it's interesting information. I, I do know he's there. I don't know what he's up to. He is a threat to one of your one of the uh, food vendors. Which one? Sal uh, Mungi? Oh! The mutineer. Yeah. He used to work on his boat. Mm. As a captain. Or as a, um, a cook. He might be looking to, to try to get him back. He actually doesn't feel that way. He doesn't want to go? Or what? He feels like his life is in danger because of a recipe. Well, that sounds odd, but I don't think... I, I would suspect he wasn't telling you the truth fully. People don't know that he used to be a pirate. Well, I'm just letting you know that they're here and they are following him. Well, I actually prefer he stay on shore. Um, Silver Fox is over at his boat right now. I suspect he has treasure somewhere when he came here. They stole. Maybe they're after that. I haven't gotten him to admit any details yet, but I have him on being watched. Well, there is the Silver Fox. I mean, it would surprise me if you hadn't run into him, them. Yeah. But well, what's he doing now? You have someone watching. Uh huh. Okay. Um. So what are you asking for? I'm just letting you know. I'm just reporting. Well, yeah, but. 
Is there anything you need to go a little further on this to find out more details? <coughs> Is there anything I can do for you on this? I mean, it's, it's good information. Honestly, I would like to uh, talk to the captain of the boat, but their gangplank is up. And it shows that they're ex exiled. No, yeah, they are. They're allowed still to come in and out. They're just not allowed protection. Um, no one asks question when rangers, which are the original pirates that helped build this place, come in asking that they're selling stuff. Everything they have is fine. If you're not a ranger, you're black market. And so he's no longer a ranger. But we're not going to, we don't block service to anyone in this city. We just also don't necessarily do I want to give protection to every one of them. And he's also hiring the uh, dock hands. Oh, well, probably for information. Yep. Um, tell you what, give me a few hours. I'll pull in what I can, and I'll tell you what's been said down in that area. Okay. Um, as far as getting in there, well, unless you have something that they've taken from the city onto their ship where you know there's something, we really can't go on there. All right. But I can give you a writ that will allow you to go on there if you find something. To invest for it. Sounds good. Okay, and it writes it up and it's basically looking for stolen merchandise. D description on additional page. And there's no additional page. So hopefully you can bullshit through it because we don't have judge permission on it or anything. Just let them know that you have some backing behind you. So, do you take that? Yep. Okay, where do you guys all meet up? Probably back at his, back at Slyman's place as he's unloading stuff? Yep. Okay. Do you tell him anything? There was a guy. I drew my swords and he ran. But then he came back and he was farther away? I don't know. It's weird. Could be the, uh, guy that's follow, that's having people follow him. <laughs> I saw a guy go up, uh, up there to get up there. They have a certain whistle to let them back in. Um, I'm going to talk to Slyman, whatever his name is. Yes, Slyman. So, let me get his true full name. Slyman Rude, R-U-O-O-D. Um, kind of rude. The ship you used to be a cook on. I don't know what you're talking about. It's just an image I carry around for people to think of. I've never actually been to sea. The reason why you're being followed yes. is because they're probably here looking for you. Why would they be looking for me? Probably to get you back. You probably... I don't know, probably to retrieve something. <coughs> I never even... <coughs> Make a Christmas roll. See if you can break it. Unless you want to use some other with it to get through to win. <coughs> we'll have Cresselia eat all your food. I'll do it. <laughs> I'm crazy that way. Like I'm losing money from just having you here. <laughs> Sixty-five. Well, this guy is basically Mr. Krabs, and like it's the Krabby Patty secret formula. And <coughs> this guy is like Plankton trying to get the secret formula. Yeah. Or are you <coughs> trying to get the secret formula? No, I just want food. Okay. Um, two things. One, you have seen nothing on his cart that's new from last time you saw him. Um, although you do have a new smell of his house, which could be the new pies. 
Uh, but yeah, impressed me. He's like, well, yeah, yeah, I used to be captain on, I used to be cook on Captain Jack's ship. Well, he is here. Well, I don't want to be on a ship anymore. Okay. And he may try to take me. <clears throat> if you come with me. Okay. I will get you help. Like what kind? Protection. Of. Well, I can't just go hiding. No, you won't have to hide. Okay. So I'll still be able to go out and sell? Yes. What kind of protection are you talking about? City guard. Grom will not do that. Why is that? Because I will not admit to him I was ever a pirate. He already knows. But he hasn't heard it from me, so it's not 100%. It's an offer. Well, what would we... I mean, they haven't done anything yet. If they do... Will that change your mind? Well, yes, definitely. Okay, we will, I will keep... Helping you. And once this kick... Once they kick in with their stupid little crap... You will get protection, right? Okay. I'm hoping they'll just get have to leave dock <clears throat> sooner or later. So I was just going to have you stay around for a few days because they can't stay one place for that long. People start abandoning the crew if they stay in, bluff, in one location too long. They get connections and you know new new girlfriends and stuff. And they start to lose crew. Well, I'm just letting you know. <coughs> okay. Well. I'm going to go in and finish my pies for the day, and uh, I guess I'll see you tomorrow morning. Okay. So he goes inside. What do you guys do? Well, I'm done for the day. I'm going to go feed my pets. She has people feeding hers. He's expensive. He's big. <laughs> He, he sits where he wants to sit, wanders around the house, sleeps in your bed, breaks it. Okay, everyone roll a die six. One, five, two. I did it. Yes. The um, badger and Lynx go jumping into your bed. No, uh, they're hiding. Oh, ha! From what? <laughs> you? There's something eating on the front door. Oh, not really. It's like that's weird. They're hiding. Okay, I guess I'll grab my weapons and go to the door. Okay. Can I see out before I open it? No. It was before we all made peepholes. <laughs> before the invention of peepholes, no. <laughs> Make a luck first level check. What? Luck first level. 21. Okay. Yes. Oh. Something about this channel. It's a squirrel. It's Bob. No. It's a monkey. Oh, I'm going to open it. It's Skeeve. Well, I imagined. I don't know any other monkeys. And he smacks the ground a few times, uh -huh. and then runs off about three feet and then turns and looks at you. Okay. Um, I'm going to, like, grab my, my gear and stuff and follow him. Okay trying to put it on as I'm walking. <laughs> uh, you two make luck rolls. 
Oh yeah, I shot. Probably should have hooked you guys up. Uh, oh, we don't know how late it is, or if they're awake anyways. Uh, Lux. Lux plus what have you rolled? Thirty. Okay, that's third level. Sixty. Okay, you both made it. You see her heading down the street. Okay. Just putting on her stuff as she's running down the street. You probably can't see anything else. Where are you going? I'm gonna spank a monkey. No, you're not. She's following a monkey. I'm gonna follow. Okay. Right behind. You. I'm gonna follow a monkey, 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 monkey. <laughs> It's Skeev, he's running away. And... Both you rolled a six, or all three of you? Three. Six. One. Fuck. <laughs> the monkey explodes. <laughs> the monkey starts... <laughs> the monkey starts throwing shit at it. <laughs> Silver Fox. Well, as you guys are coming the way you're going, you're running down the street, he notices some guy that suddenly like sees you coming and like starts running the other way, like turning left away from the way the monkey's going. Are you gonna chase after him? Yeah. Ooh, ADHD. You <laughs> left that way. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Squirrel. <laughs> See if I can tackle him. Okay, make a speed check. And as you tackle him, he's yelling out, he was just, look out, he was just look out. He doesn't know what's going on, he was just look out. For what? I don't know what they were doing. I was just to make noise, but if they saw anything, or if I saw anything. They're already gone, though. You guys show up. The monkey went back home. Front door busted open. And there's no one in there. They kidnapped him. I'm gonna loot his house. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. What? They're taking the guy that cooks the food? Where's the food? And Lisa said, sure, what's the trick? What? Oh. No, haven't you ever seen Batman? Yeah. <coughs> his pencil disappeared. <laughs> Can you do it yourself? That'd be weird. So. So it's one like, of those like Daffy Duck tricks. It happens look, one time, it's really cool, but it kills you. It looks like we take Skeev and go talk to Grandma again. You need to bring the guy. Oh, I still got a hold him by his neck. How do you know it's by his neck? Because I'm grabbing onto him. That's not his neck. <laughs> He's actually seven and, a, seven and a half feet tall. He has elephantitis of the penis. <laughs> I got it though, he ain't leaving without it. <laughs> he ain't going nowhere. He's like, aha, it's detachable. <laughs> no, it's not. Runs off. Um, as you guys are heading the uh, towards Grums, the monkey takes off and, and heads the other way. Somebody needs to go follow him. I'll follow the monkey. Okay. Yeah, because technically you can't be here anyways. Tigers! Okay. <laughs> you go follow the monkey, you go see Grom. Yep. Okay, so when you follow the monkey, the monkey heads back to the port. Cool. And so people are loading someone onto a boat. Hmm. I'm an unconscious person. All tied up. And you guys go to Grom. What do you tell? What do you do? They took him. Okay. Now it's kidnapping. Yeah. 
in the Aladdin's second page it says, you know, for Simon Brood kidnapping. Because Chris Alley has his monkey. That's just that right? We'll tell her to stop it. She's taken. <laughs> Alright. Okay. So you take it? Yep. Do you need some guards? Yes. Uh, we'll send a couple with you. C you know, city guards. Okay. Make a luck roll, both of you. <laughs> what the fuck? What are you doing over here? I don't know. <laughs> I was trying to open it and it just shot across the room. You don't know your own strength. I don't. It's scary. Crunch. Okay, She-Hulk. That means I can be a lawyer, right? Fifty-four! <coughs> Are you gonna roll on your luck? Yeah. Uh, Do I roll on my luck? Just start startle. Um, no, because we're basically on them when they show up. Okay. Can I do anything while I'm waiting for them? Uh, well, what do you want to do? So I'm gonna... <laughs> Maybe! No. <laughs> it's a puss booty! 31. Okay. What are you doing, Chris? <laughs> You're such an ass. <laughs> now I can't do that, because it'll seem like your idea. <laughs> no, I'm gonna cast Take That You Fiend on one of them. Or not Take That You Fiend, uh, sorry. Uh, Ogo A. <laughs> on one of them. Okay, go ahead. Ciao. Oh, that one funky. Fuck. I only need to make a one level one, right? Yep. Okay. I made it. Okay. What's the points you do? Or is it? Um, I think it's these like three sets that I think put together. Luck, luck, IQ, and wizardry, or was it IQ, wizardry, and charisma? I think it's charisma, because it wasn't wizardry in the one. Well, yeah, but oh, I don't know. You can go either way. If it has something new for it, we'll do that. IQ, luck, and charisma. Okay. So that's 53. Well, he goes running <laughs> off and jumps into the ocean. <coughs> Man overboard! No, he was, on the, he was on the plank. He dropped him, so now the other two are trying to, like, carry the guy. There's three of them? Yes. Ah, oh, crap. I thought there was two for some reason. No, three. Three. Pirate rogues. I'm gonna do it again. <laughs> Roll. <laughs> oh, okay, I made it. Oh. I made it. You made it? Yeah. Okay. He also drops and takes off. <laughs> and one more. <laughs> the last one drops the guy and is jumping up the plank to get out of the ship. He's yelling the guy's bewitched. <laughs> Do it one more time! <laughs> On him? Yeah. Okay. You got enough wizard points for one these? Yeah, I should. That's actually... Oh, shit. You don't have enough wizard points. Uh, no, I'll be left with one more because... Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's have a six. Okay, I made that one. I'm down to one wizard point. Hopefully we don't need me to cast any spells. <laughs> It'll be like... Okay. The, 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 the speed the groups are showing up, it, it takes a couple turns for all of them to show up. He shows up first. The guards and him show up kind of following. As he's starting to show up, you noticed they dropped Simon on the, uh, the gangplank. And he's not fully on it. Oh he's shit! Starting to like slide. Uh. He'll make a saving roll for him, and he failed it. Uh. <laughs> shit. Can I make it there in time? Yeah. First little dex roll for you right now. Hi, pretty kitty. No. Matter of fact, Castellian running forward tripped and fell off into the water. Fuck me. Apparently everyone's f running from the body. Even this lady that came from nowhere suddenly jumped in the lake. <laughs> <and also. laughs> she just came running out. 
and then jump to the water. Guess just in case Slyman falls off the uh, the gangplank, she's got it. Yeah, see, that's what I was. That was the plan from the beginning. Yeah, the whole time. Okay, you show up. You see, he's on the gangplank. You do see her fall in the water. <laughs> I'm gonna grab him. Second level dex roll for you. Is usually a little later. Tits. Hey, the dock's less about ten, less than ten feet up. Forty-three. You can use the rope. For I could use my rope. He's like, I got to use for this. Don't help me. <laughs> ten feet rope is flying out. Can I just the... climb onto the boat that they were gonna? <coughs> it's ten feet up. No, to the, the dock. The dock. I mean, it's about eight feet up to the dock, but um, the boat. Yeah. There's, where are you climbing? Is there like supposed to be a ladder on the side of the boat? Oh, I thought you were saying mean like they were getting it on the boat to take it to the big ship. No, they just had a gangplank. Oh, oh, okay. They were crossing with the body and carrying it in. Yeah, okay, never mind. You yeah. dropped two people off, they took off. One ran inside the ship, you ran for ah! into the water. You ran up and grabbed him before he fell, I think. Fifty a fifty <laughs> Okay, he grabbed him, he's unconscious. But the guy you assume is the captain comes up to the gangplank, and he has a gun in his hand. I'm gonna keep pulling. He says, "We well, yeah, save my cook." Not your cook. Unless there's a reason to believe otherwise, he's the same man that was my cook, and he owes us. I have a warrant for this man. What are you, a guard? Yes, I am. Hi. He comes walking out on the dock as you pull the guy up. And he wants to see the paperwork. I show him. Okay. And as you guys are watching, there's about at least 15 men on the ship. <coughs> Looking down. Oh, and uh, do you want to make a dex roll to try to throw the rope up there? Or are you somebody going to help? Castelia's in the water. I'm kind of busy. Yeah. I'm going to give her a hand. Pull her out. And the rest of the guards are with me. Okay. <laughs> Give me a hand, get you out of the water. You jump back in? <laughs> I guess take that, you fiend, on the captain. <laughs> or not take that, you fiend, but I'll go away. <laughs> I thought, did you have enough points? I didn't, but I have a soul stone with eight points in it. <laughs> <laughs> Roll. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> okay. Captain was smarter than the other two. That's true. He goes running up on the dock <laughs> on a ship, kicks the plank into the water, and tells everyone, Move it! Move it! Sea monster! <laughs> <laughs> Some yes. of are yelling, Are Maxi. we going out to sea to deal yes. with escaping sea monsters? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's so entertaining. Oh, my God. And they leave him there. 120 experience points. Each? Yep. I'm going for the pacifist round. <laughs> you guys been doing it a lot, actually, which is good. That's why I do the, the experience point base thing, because basically I look at it and see what it was worth. Then I get bonus for actually having to fight people. That's not the way I want to text me. Oops. <laughs> Well, back then before the studio Um, you guys get done. Wait till he's better and awake. <laughs> so they came in. They jumped in when he was busy cooking pies. I guess I'll go away. Um. One thing you noticed this time, which you hadn't seen so much before, but as you were bringing in Simon or Sliman, I like Simon better, but it's Sliman. Uh, he went ahead and told you, or you saw, on a nearby tower, like on all the walls, a a guard, but wearing different things, and he had a crossbow, larger one, was pointing your way. But as soon as he saw you guys cleared it, he put it away and went back. Grom. No, it wasn't Grom, but you got to feel Grom was behind it. 
Like he might have more than just a secret police. Um, you've heard of them before. They're called talons. Apparently, they just run along the top of the hill, the buildings and all that, and shoot at things. There's a problem. They don't come down very often. No one's sure why or where they come from, but you may have guessed that they are probably some additional protection. Because it's a, it's a crime city, so he's got to do what he has to to keep control of it. Are you all right over there? <laughs> Fucking really, Lisa. <laughs> I thought he said hymen. Okay. He must have. I don't remember what part. I don't know what it was related to. When he yelled, ago. "Got him!" Oh, hymen. <laughs> hymen. That's what you yell when you're like. <laughs> it's my post work cry. <laughs> no. So you're. It could have been when face? you. It could have said when you. Or it could have been when you said Slyman. Oh yeah. Hyman. Slyman. Yeah. Yeah. Told you I didn't like his name. Okay. Only one thing he has he needs for you to help with today, and then you'll be free to go. Running around yesterday, I didn't have time to drop by uh, Widow Roll's bake shop, and I need some uh, buns picked up, dropped off. I'll, I'll pick your buns up. <laughs> well, from what I heard, Sweet Nell wants to pick yours up. That's beside the point. Who's Sweet Nell? Tell us, tell us, who's Sweet Nell? Sweet Nell is the uh, daughter of Widow Roll's bake shop. Do that again. <laughs> Why? Stop it, she's having to spin her head. That's not good. No, apparently not. Yep. <laughs> Alright, copping a handhold while you're at it, and someone in some trouble, and you just cop a handhold. No, I got a little bit too dizzy. Oh, yeah? You okay? Mm -hmm. I held your hand to center you. Yes, you did. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I was and arouse. Arouse. Yes. To center and arouse. And it was when he said <coughs> Slyman. Okay. She heard Hyman. <laughs> so, you guys finish that. Next day, you go ahead and pick up those buns for him. Not sweet nails. I'll do it. She's of age. You would, wouldn't you? <laughs> Not picky. I'm... Okay, Ado is in love with himself. That's okay. all there is to it. You show up. He's a Picostomus. And, uh... Shh. We're gaming. <laughs> it's a coffee pot. He's telling us, please, I'm getting cold. Drink me. Okay. Someone, the uh, will roll comes over and meets you as you come in. Well, what are you needing today? We don't have pie delivery today, and I thought we already had that no, worked out. No, I'm picking up an order for Slyman. Oh! We need some hot buns Do you do this a lot? Occasionally. Okay, well, I'll keep that in mind. Okay, I was going to go... She moves her stuff, like, over a bit. She kind of, like, moves, like, where you're standing, look behind, and is, like, blocking something. What's that? What? That you're standing in front of. Oh, my daughter! She was staring. Mm -hmm. I usually don't come out here and deal with people, but she was silly. She wanted to talk to you. I see. <coughs> she She's 18, but she doesn't know the world well. She but lost your filed down penis. Um, like your teeth that's filed to a point. I'll go get those for you. So she goes heads off. And when she moves, you see who is behind her. She's trying to block the view of you. <coughs> There's Sweet Nell. Fervently masturbating. She's just watching you. Oh. She's, uh, legal. Yes, and, I know. I've heard that three times already. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Can I get you something? No, not today. How about tonight?
Well, maybe I'll find something sweet for you. She goes off. <coughs> Finally, the widow shows up. And she brings you a large couple bag, like almost trash bag size, full of buns to take to them. <coughs> buns. And uh, the bread smells familiar. You know it. This is where the buns that you've been eating all day came from. Oh. Move! Go! Oh. And... I'll carry them. Before you're leaving, now it comes up with an eclair. Thank you. It's and filled with you. my cream. <laughs> it's my hair eclair. <laughs> Would you like to eat my hair pie? <laughs> I filled it myself. <laughs> Have you guys seen Ben Wilder? Yes! Yeah. Mm. God, Ryan Reynolds is hot. Do you like it this way? I wouldn't know. I've never had one. Well, here you go. I will let you know tomorrow. I okay. an extra ingredient in it. Like me, they're delicious. Silver fork, you want to Holly, <laughs> shut up. It does look delicious. <laughs> the pregnant woman's okay with it. She's like, okay. Let's leave and then I'll give you half of it. Test. <laughs> That's how I eat eclairs. I just stick my tongue directly into the hole. So. I'm not even kidding. That's seriously like. <laughs> <laughs> you turn around <coughs> with a bag with the rolls and everything. and Some guard is looking at you bad. Like, who the hell are you? And looking at the eclair. I seduce him. Can I help you? What do you think you're doing? Oh, excuse me. Picking up an order? Yeah, well, you can leave Nell alone. You could have her! Oh, okay. Sure. Did I get my I'm not interested. Hmm? Did I get my whiz points back? Yeah. Okay. We'll, I'm not we'll interested. Take. Well, yeah, that looks that way. And he smacks the eclair out of your hand. <gasps> My eclair! Eclair? That was actually for her. No, I was watching the whole thing. But I was going to eat it. I stab him. <laughs> he got to <laughs> on him? <laughs> Pregnancy hormones take over, and I'm like, My food! <laughs> He's a city guard. And no, he, he wouldn't know your guards. Can I still pick it up and eat it? Yeah. Yes. I'm gonna eat it. Make a luck roll. Okay. Twenty-one. Yeah, it's fine. Yay! Matter of fact, it landed on the paper. It just it's got a squish print. Okay, look. I don't want any trouble. I don't like her. I'm not interested. You could have her. Yeah. Of course, that's what she should say. And also, don't fuck Little with my eclairs, or I'll poison your ass, like I did him. Move on. What's your name? <laughs> I know you did. I'm Hugo. I know. <laughs> huh? Hugo. Right. Captain of the city guard in this district. Okay. Like, yeah, you want to head out? Through, yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's got a couple of guys outside just like but waiting you need for me for stuff. They're looking at you like, Not you know. really. You behave. All aggressive looking. Plus my baby daddy might not I don't think I need to go, uh, I'll have to kill him. Talk to somebody. Yeah. Oh, Deal with this good. guy. Yeah. Make a, a intelligence roll. No, I'm going to go... No, talk. make intelligence roll. Right. For something at that scene. Fifty. Excuse me. My baby daddy. Saw all those guys again, but different one. <laughs> He's watching these guys from above. Uh, behind a, 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 a chimney. I look at him and go. No, it's bad. A little bit. Hugo's already being watched, so. Okay. Right. He's kind of a pushy guy. Kind of a bully. Is the de is the clear delicious? Oh, it is. Oh, God, so you pull out a piece of hair. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing tricky to it. She just made it for you. It tasted really good. Yeah. I missed out. 
You're like, you were supposed to, sh we were supposed to share that. And I'm like, <laughs> where's my hat at? She points her finger at you. It's got cream on it. No. <laughs> there you go. No. Get... <laughs> what the fuck? Lick it. <laughs> Bite it off. Oh my god. Lick it. Fine, you want me to lick it? Yeah. <laughs> Give. Give your hand. Don't really. Oh god. I don't, know where my hands, I don't know where my hands have been. I'm pretty sure that's the one I used to adjust my tuck earlier. It was. Yeah. <laughs> what? What you doing over there? What do you mean? Being insane. Be a delicious. <laughs> Apparently. Okay. Maybe I should like fuck my face up or something. Jeez. Since you guys get home, what we do with you? You get to be the first one this time. What I do? Oh, you got the monkey at your house too. But that was part of the last submission. Yeah, the monkey's back at his owner. Yeah. You don't get to keep the monkey. The monkey scares your pets. A badger. And a wildcat are running from a spider monkey. Why are they afraid of a monkey? Because they're kids. Oh, but the, it's a monkey. They don't know they're badgers and cats. But no, oh, but the monkey's cute. Yeah. The monkey is with his owner. Leave him alone. They're scary. Monkeys are scary. Monkeys are pretty scary. They can probably get used to it after a while. They will bite. They will kill. Well, yeah. And they will eat you. Well, so do humans. Okay. You do find occasionally yeah. one look time you came look at me, home. Look at me. You don't have to be so and you had a serious. problem. We're all having fun here. No seriousness. Your animals were talking to the squirrel. Oh, cool. Well, not technically. The animals weren't talking. The squirrel told them to stop, and they said sit down, and they did. And they, the squirrel went on to like checking around the house. Why is the squirrel? I'm gonna go talk to the squirrel. Okay. Which is a weird sentence. Did you see that episode of uh, Rick and Morty? Probably, because I've watched the whole series. The one where, like, the brain teasers? And at one point, Rick could understand, or Morty could understand <coughs> what what Squirrel said, and it ended up they were an ultra-intelligence. Oh, that's right, yeah. What? You talked to the squirrels? You fucked it all, Morty! We can't stay in this world! He like runs quicker than he runs from pirates. And he is a fate of pirates. Which amazes me because he is a pirate. What do you want to ask the squirrel? Why are you talking to my animals? Because I wanted them to stop and sit. Oh, okay. What are you looking for? I'll see what's here. Oh. You have any nuts? <laughs> no. We were checking. <laughs> we didn't think you did. We couldn't find any. Yeah. You know they have different ones than what we've had before? Who? Oh, different nuts? Yeah. Yeah. I only know of one kind. Do you want... I can buy you some. Sure. I'm going to go buy nuts for the squirrels. Well, right now? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh. It's early morning. Okay, Just tomorrow I will go get squirrels. Just knock your door. man size knock. Not a monkey knock this time. Not a squirrel? Not a monkey. Not a squirrel. No. Okay. <laughs> Human sized dogs. Okay. Who is it? Okay. It is. Uh. I'm trying to think which. We'll go with Caco Carter. What's that? No, I actually don't know him so well. Cagnia. Cagnia. It's one of the people from the Red. The, uh, the Druids of Doom cult. Oh, okay. He's at the door. Hey, buddy. Hello. I was just on my way to service. Did you see a talking squirrel? Anyone? No. Do you have a talking squirrel? Not personally. <coughs> I mean, he looks at the other two animals on the ground. No, they don't talk yet. Okay. Probably shouldn't have said yet. <laughs> shouldn't have told you that. I'll have to kill you now. Can you come into the back room? I got a really dumb plastic. Actually, let's go over to a friend of mine's house. I'll go away. <laughs> just it's my new my new like go to trick is just to scare the shit out of all the enemy. <laughs> I will say it's the beginning of the next day. So you can have your points back. 
I was supposed to buy a squirrel some nuts, but I guess I'll do your Now, did you get a fresh drink of the potion? What? Did she, Freya, give you a drink of the potion? Separate from the one she gave them to copy. She was supposed to? We'll have to count that she did, because that means you're currently cured of it. Okay. Uh, the rest of the people in the city, they're still working on, because they're having problems with some of the ingredients in that. That's one of the many things they're working on. But they found, as long as... For some reason, as long as the cultists show up to the Temple of Putrexia for services, it cures that ri that ritual need, and it makes them fine for the day. And it doesn't have, it doesn't negate if it negates the effects for the day. Okay. They have to do it again the next day. So he's on his way to services, and he stopped by here to talk to you. He says I have a problem, and you seem to be one of the types that seem to be able to find answers, as with the other problem. We were wondering if, if, well, our family, my family is wondering if you could help us out. I can, yeah, try. Um, well, we have a family heirloom that was buried with great grandmother. And over six months ago, actually, but just last week, I saw it in a pawn shop nearby my home. Neat. I went to find my father to assure me of what I thought was it, but when we returned, it was gone. And the guy at the pawn shop was very helpful. Was not very helpful. He just said he didn't see anything like that. So I've got a head, but if you could find out or help us with it, I mean, I'm sure we could come up with something. But we think, you know, if you bury your family with something, it should stay with them. I mean, we bury people in our family before there, and if things are disappearing out of the cemetery, we need to know. Fair enough. And the cemetery they're buried is the one that's right on the other, right on the side of the um, uh, Baron's lands. There's the Baron's gardens, the uh, home, mm -hmm. the graveyard, and then there's a route that goes up to the higher class homes, okay. above, behind the walls. Down here is the poor part of town. That's where you guys live. So if you saw all kind of parts of town yesterday, they have guards up on the walls. How could she see that? She looked up every once in a while. She I wanted to see guarding. if someone was coming after her food. So that's what mattered. She wants to, she shows up and slides, hi. Can we go today? I don't need you today. I need you though. I need you. I need you. <laughs> Feed me. I think. I may love you. <laughs> <To those. laughs> What's that? Whatever it takes. Shut up. Give me the food. So I'm gonna go tell. She pans over. With, sorry. With the uh, holding the soup in front. Okay, listen. I can't be accessed while holding the soup. Go. <laughs> sorry. I'll uh, go over here. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go tell these oh, two I'm about. Just, oh, I'm going no, over towards the. He's off screen. Mm. Oh well, that's. You okay, can scoot the it. chair up. Mm. No, I was just. Kidding. <coughs> I'm on screen. No, he was off screen. Well, if he's off. Quit playing play with your titties. Just gonna say, you man, I have. I, I'm growing tits. I'm going through puberty. <laughs> Is it weird? Like. That's the name of the. Uh, a uh, mortuary house that takes care of the whole grave area. Mm. Okay. It's over there. Let's go. Who do you talk to or what? I'm telling them. Okay, you go grab them? Yeah. There's Is there waking up in the morning? You guys here? Who's, whose door you go to first? Ado's. Ado! Pound, pound, pound. Or you just walk in? No, this will be more fun. Pound, pound, pound. I'm going to throw the door open and hold my broadsword sword in my hand. Okay. I instantly flash my tits. Look! No. I told you I don't want that ah, sword. Blind! Milk delivery! <laughs> Sorry, don't want it. Look, they're getting bigger already! We have reports of grave robbering. Rob, rob, robbering. Robbing. People robbery. are robbing graves. Grave robbery? No. The way I said it. But anyway, what the fuck is a grave? 
It's like a grape, but it's also not. And before you knew what they were, people were stealing them. Let's go. Yeah. Fine. Let's go get Silver Fox. No, okay. He's outside. Don't be in the trash again. You! Why do you see uh, have so much trash? trash? What are we doing now? He's got a Something she wants to do. Let's go. Well, that's because everything he buys is disposable. He doesn't have any pots or pans or anything. He's like coming home with like boxes of food all the time and stuff. He's got to like still build shit through his house. Sounds like the actual player himself. <laughs> Hungry Minotaur frozen meals. <laughs> no. He's, like, he's asking Simon, can you like deliver? He's like, every place you guys go, Rigo Rolls is like, hey, do you guys have donut for no delivery? I've had a strange stand to grab donuts and hide someplace and watch people. You know what? You're a cop! <laughs> you know what? Donuts actually sound good. Yeah. <laughs> okay. How do you guys wish to deal with this situation? I have a list of possible abilities for who you could check for information. Um, Chris, what do you want to do? Don't put me in charge. I did that! You're the one who started this. You guys get there. You, okay, for right now, you're like, I'd say two blocks from your house in the middle of the street. And you ask her, what's your plan? And she's like, don't ask me. You're the one that got us. Well, yeah, you're the plan makers. That's why I got you. No, no, no. Nah. We're the muscle. <sighs> Okay, I got it. I got a brilliant plan. I got a brilliant plan. We're gonna get a whole bunch of like jewelry and stuff. And then we're gonna bury it underground with him in there. And the <laughs> no. And after about 20 minutes if no one shows up, we'll go home. Yeah. Because it's too late. It could be 802, I mean. Let's go out and look over to the... Hold on. Before you even say about the cemetery, why are we going there? There's grave robbers. I think... That a guy told me that there, there was, like, stuff that was in the pawn shop Shh. that was Shh. and like it was his grandma's Shh. and she was buried with it and then there was a squirrel yeah, last that, night yeah. and it was Me looking for nuts go up there and look. it was looking okay. for my nuts and, and I didn't have any nuts for it. I should really stock up on nuts <laughs> let's just go yeah. we start walking without her where are you going to the cemetery to wait my nuts repose. you want to go to the cemetery yeah go there I should tell you kind of what it looks like a cemetery. There's dead people on the ground. Well, you would hope so, but I can guarantee you. Things happen on accident. That's true. Erosion. Um. Erosion. Actually. I'll catch up with you guys. <laughs> the whole cemetery complex it's a busy town. It's kind of like you think New Orleans and the way the cemeteries get to be a major thing. Mm. Next to it is a palace of peaceful repose. They take care of it. The actual cemetery is known as McKinley Cemetery. It's, it's like right there sharing the grounds. And it also has its own um, house on it, McKinley Manor. Originally, that kind of the people that owned it all, but they kind of... Uh, Yo, know, they're an old family. They haven't, they don't, they haven't like kept up on the work. They decided they own the yard. They don't want to have to do uh, gravy work anymore. So they just let the palace peaceful repose take care of it. So there's actually two houses there. So both of equally creepy looking. Okay. Which place you want to go first? The graveyard. Since you kind of have to hit the graveyard to get into the other. Have her show. I'll have her show us in the general area of where the grave robbers were at. 
where they do it. You guys go look? Yes. Uh, make an intelligence roll. I was just making sure my hair was good. Question. Okay, he didn't. He, he, he didn't tell you. He knows, you know the name of the family. Oh. But that's it. Well, it looks like you're going into the peaceful or uh, triple P. Yes. Let's find out where that family is. McKinley Cemetery, because this is where you get. Well, yeah, you have to first to get here. It's located in the old part of the city. It's once located it's the outskirts of the city, but the city grew up beyond it. Um, they still maintain a respectable distance. Though still in use, the cemetery is quite old and fallen into disrepair. Trees are dying and rank weeds grow among the ancient tombstones. Uh, there's also some actual, like, tombs in there. Now, heading over to the Palace pe of Peaceful Repos, it looks much nicer, newer. It's a quiet sector that's sitting next to it. Uh, stands rather small building, somber in coloration and design. A sign hangs from the front of the establishment and reads, Palace of Peaceful Repose. Alejandra Proprietor. Alejandra provides a service most adventurers hope they'll never need. Uh, basically, as you come in, you see a list on the wall, uh, canvas shroud, pine box, hardware box, ornate hardwood box, silver box, or gold box. I thought you said canvas shroud, <laughs> like that one. No, canvas. Those I would have gone with the canvas. Kind of <laughs> the canvas shroud? Yep. That way, just in case you do wake up, you're like, oh shit, I'm, I'm underground. This oh, won't be quite so bad. Me. I have to chew this shit up. If I can't burn it, I'll lose my air. Fuck that. I didn't want to stay alive anyway. <laughs> right? Okay. Um, let's see, uh, a three foot high wrought iron fence encloses a small yard in which the various flowers grow. A gravel path leads from the gate to the f fence to the front door of the mortuary. Two thick frosted glass windows are set in the north wall of the building and they are difficult to break. I don't know why you're testing it. It's the weird thing is that people write in these modules from that. <coughs> so Fox puts his butt up on it. Thanks, <coughs> 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 anyway. <coughs> <coughs> that could take a pounding. Gotta <coughs> 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 know. His butt or the. <laughs> yeah, his butt! <coughs> oh, the idea is like you should be pushed up against it and hold and, and not go through the window. See? Oh. That's important. Yeah. Because anything can happen. Go through the best view into the opening. Uh, there you meet Alejandra. <coughs> Six foot two, 185 pounds. Uh, early, late 30s, early 40s. You're tall. It's a tall, dark, lithe, lithe fellow with a slight pallor to his features. He moves about freely during the day and night. Know. He seems to be like someone that doesn't sleep well. Uh, she, uh, that's why he's got that lighter, you know, the uh, lighter skin in the circle. Mm. <coughs> he reaches out with a cold and clammy hand and says, hey, can I help you? Did a friend die or something? I died earlier, but that's not the point. Um, you were the one that was, excuse me to say, dating the priest that uh, died? Oh, yeah. 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 You had to put him in the tomb. Yeah. It would have been nice if someone would have showed up for it. I didn't think about that. Many don't. I was busy. But regardless of this, maybe you can make someone else's better. How would you like? What, would you, what do I need for you? Oh, oh, um, so I was told that there might be some grave robbing going on. Well, that would be very frightening. I mean, if you cannot be safe at death, what else can you, when can you be safe? What, what do you have? Who said what? Um, somebody, one of my contacts said that he has a... His grandmother is buried here, and they buried her with a specific... Can you inform the name? I don't know what the name is. Well, you'll know his name. Yeah, his name. You tell him that name. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well then. Uh, goes over and pulls out a, a map, looks at it. And points to an area. Uh. So she, she, be, she should be buried in this area. Um, if you do find proof of some kind of disturbance of the grave, let us know. Uh, we don't as much take care of that, but it's actually possible. The probability, you know, the people that should take care of it doesn't matter. But as you can tell by the grounds, it doesn't look too good. We tend to have to 
in some areas cut our way through the brush so that we can get to where we've got to put a grave. Yeah. The tombs are more used nowadays anyways. But a lot of the old bodies actually have spots. Okay. And that's one of them. So we point you to the area. It's a family plot area. Um, I'm going to go check it out. Okay, you do that and find out what you can find out. Come on, guys. Um, if you have I hear dog. It, if you have problems finding it, check with the uh, groundskeeper. Okay. What's his name? Uh, I'm not sure on that. I just call him the groundskeeper. But he does live on, and he does live in the manor. It's a small house on the edge. Okay. It's a separate home, and okay. he takes care of that stuff. He's about the closest as we have to a, the man who takes care. He, he actually buries the bodies. He's known a lot of times as the digger. I heard that wrong. Yes, you did. Now, the name Schwarzenegger. What part do you think would mean black? Schwartz. Yes. <laughs> Which I don't know if that's better or not. Um, you might want to clean up uh, Silver Fox's butt marks that you left on your window. Just testing it. Got the game. You come out and you're like, oh, hi guys. I forgot you guys were following me. I went and got you so I can go inside and talk to someone. Oh, yeah. They're staring out. It's like the kids that dared the one person. I shall throw my sock at you. You go up to the grave house. <laughs> No, you go up to the grave house. You go up to the grave house. We'll stand outside the fence and watch. You go up to the old man so-and-so's house. No, you do. No, That's you do. That's what you did. Yeah, like you see uh, that matter? That's what you were saying. You come out. What do you tell him? The grave is over there. Okay, you guys going to check the grave? No, I didn't. Drink it. Drink it quick before it gets bad. Five-second rule. Mug back on. It's basically tea. It didn't go no. into your coffee. I know. <laughs> okay. Um. I'm just make a level two me. intelligence check. Hmm? Not you. Twenty six. Okay. Uh, nothing. Yeah, that's the information I gave it to you before rolling. <laughs> You're good. They told you where he lives on the edge, if you have any questions. You'll find additionally, if he's not there, he might be drinking at the nearest bar. Silver Fox might know him. <laughs> I might. Are you the guy that, yeah, the guy that digs it to, oh man, he's hilarious, his stories. One time he had this old lady he had to put in there, man. When he dug the hole, he found out there was another hole over there. Just threw the body in the tomb. Hey, it was good. <laughs> yeah, those are horrible stories. Stop that. Okay, I'll mark that one done. Okay, you get there to the location. Uh -huh. Everyone make an intelligence roll to see how good of information you get in looking in the area, kicking around, see what you can tell. I, uh, I got a 22. It's alpha what? Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Yep. Fifty-six. Okay. Now are you looking? Yeah, I said I got twenty-two. Okay, what? And thirty-nine. Thirty-nine. And fifty-six, you said? Okay. Then you can say assuredly from looking at the location. Um this site's not been touched at least probably for around six weeks when it got buried. You know, basically they take the root cutter and they cut all the roots to create a slab of grass and they'll uh -huh. slip it up and foot and then dig that and then just like they do nowadays. They they knew how to do that back then. Mm -hmm. Um that's why those tools existed. And also it became one of the uh, weapons in uh pole arms. It looks like a the blade. Mm -hmm. That's the same one they use. <laughs> when you're a peasant you find what works good for you. If you're good with a axe, you swing an axe. <laughs> so Check on the situation. Uh, no, this this is looks fine. You can't tell. It does look like anyone dug some up recently. We should probably dig it up. What? To see if there's a tunnel underneath it. Or is oh, it? Oh, so the theory is maybe they dropped it out from underneath. Yeah. Okay. Who has a shovel? Shit. Exactly. Ooh, start digging! You know, like, 
I use my hands. You brought us here to dig in the cemetery. Fine. Next, Let's go I'm going to stick in bed. Shovel. Shovel. The groundskeeper might have That's one. That's true. Let's go to the groundskeeper's house and see if he has a shovel we can steal. You can borrow. Steal. Borrow. Steal, oh, borrow. borrow, same thing. No. Okay, you go there. Um. What do you do? There's a door, there's a shed. Is he, is he home? I'm going to go knock on the door. Yeah, I'll knock on the door. Okay. Guy comes to the door, kind of tired looking. She would like to talk to you. We need a shovel. Don't do that. <laughs> I was sleeping. You know, I work a lot at night. People don't want to see people digging. But I should just go out to the shed. Okay. I, that's what I wanted to do. It's open. But somebody's Question. like, no, let's not steal. Questions? I can't think that will. A little slow. What is it? Six weeks ago. Yeah? You buried an old lady. Yes, I did. Any rants off her name. Is there any way there might be a tunnel underneath her grave? Uh, uh, first one, I wouldn't know, but when I dug the hole, there was nothing there. Otherwise, what if I threw the coffin in, it would have fallen. And it had been a lot of east work. But it was solid when I, when I put it there. Because the only reason why I'm asking. Just so you know, the tunnels are down like 15 feet from here. So, you know, tunnels don't often just get in the way. The reason why I'm asking is there was something that was buried with her. That was all of a sudden, from what she told me, was found in a pawn shop. Just recently. So you saw it? I didn't, no. One of the grandchildren <laughs> of the woman saw it in a pawn shop? I would report it then, but it's probably a waste of time because it could just be a copy or, you know, did they, you know, sounds like a lot of someone said. But there it is if you want to go ahead. Okay, go back to sleep. Okay. Because the side closes the door. I'm going to go dig it up. Go right in. Guys, make an intelligence roll. Because you're all there, right? Yeah. 20. Dicks. Never damn dicks. Thirty. Thirty. Okay. It's been a while. Okay. Hey, you. What? What'd you get? Twenty-four. Twenty-four. Twenty. Yeah, twenty-four. So you're too busy talking to the guy. Yeah. Okay. The other two of you, less so you, kind of noticed something that was odd. But he could just be really drunk or hungover. He did not want to come outside. Vampire. He just didn't want to come out. Kind of looked over her and that stayed inside and talked through the, like two feet from the door. Like he opened the door and plopped up a couple feet and talked to you guys. And he reached over and slammed it. Vampire. Hey, are you a vampire? <laughs> you want to get a shovel and stuff? Are there any vampire tools in there? Like, There's stakes. This Could is, also the, be this is the wrong place. We're in his fridge. He has steaks in here. No. <laughs> S-T-A-K-E-S. But you can use a trump steak for the same thing. Being nailed into the ground to hold stuff down. Not to eat. I assume. Yeah, I'm going to grab a shovel. Okay. I'm going to start digging. Okay. I'm going to make good. Silver Fox start digging. Go, go to it. You're the strong one. You dig? You're going to owe me on this I'm one. I'm pregnant. Take a strength roll. Two dice, six plus your strength as an, yep. as an excuse. Got to use it while you have it, huh? Yeah. We're approaching a month. Yeah. 
pray have nine more of these to go. Or eight I more know. Of these to go. Uh, it's flying by. 37. 37 then what do you do? Dicks. Go wandering around with a kid in a papoose? Yeah. <laughs> Cast spells. Uh. <laughs> what? 27. 27? Okay. 37 is what you rolled. 37. 37. Yeah. 37. Okay. Uh, no problem. Dig it up. Yay! There's a case. It's not that old. Looks like it's silver. So I actually paid a little bit of money. I open it. Okay. There's grandma. Gross. No sword. There was a sword? Yeah. Oh, I thought it was like a trinket. No, it's a sword. sword. So... There's no sword in it. So as so long as you're right about the family saying that... I'm going to take it. Where's this? There is nothing in there with her. Oh, the sword's not gone. The sword, the sword is, is gone. gone. Okay. I'm going to take the card. Shh, I'm kidding. Me. I'm kidding. Take, take me to this friend of yours. Okay. Well, we should probably bury this. Again. Yes. Ah, <laughs> yeah, we'll leave it. Let's go. But take me to. <laughs> Do you rebury it? This yes. friend of yours. Okay, we're gonna go to. Let's make a roll. Don't fumble. Don't roll a two and a one. Jim's. He house. buries it really crappy. He falls. In. The body's upside down. <laughs> Stick it out. Whoops. I got it buried. Okay, now unbury it. Put the body back in the corpse. Or put, put it back in the <laughs> put box. Put the corpse back in the box. Yeah. Thirty-nine. Okay, no problem. Looks good. Looks respectful. The uh, the guy shouldn't be upset about it. Okay. How far is is the the grave person's house from? It's a hefty walk. Oh, okay, so I can't throw a shovel at his house? No. Okay. No, 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 no. <laughs> Just like, yeet! You gotta go take it back. <laughs> if you want to. And you guys okay, go talk to the family. Yes. Go talk to the family. Okay. Um, how do you want to talk to family? Like, aggressively? I'm gonna use my aggressively. aggressively. Give me a fucking map! What map? I don't know! So usually someone has a map. I'm gonna use my charisma. You make a roll. You're gonna be all... Look at my pointed dick. Got <laughs> a weird opinion on Drow, don't you? Well, they file everything else to a point. Might as well. Well, they got to deal with that mushroom somehow. <laughs> that way they can get in a whole shape. <coughs> I heard Drow have a hook on the end. <laughs> And herpes. 79! <laughs> 79! <laughs> yes. <coughs> yes, there was a sword, but there was also a pendant. Oh shit, we gotta go dig it up again. It no, it wasn't there. You guys noticed if it would have had anything, you would have said, can I take it? No. <laughs> so. <coughs> okay, so we dug her up. The old bat didn't have either, but we don't know how. It What pawn shop did you see this in? On the next episode of Pawn Stars. <laughs> <gasps> Was it the Hobbits? No. Oh, okay. Usually it's, it's one of the older the shops. Hobbits. It's been there since before the Hobbits. Oh, okay. Let's go there. It just says pawn shop on front. The Hobbits at least come up with cool names. <laughs> like the trash bin. <laughs> the trash yard. What you might call it. Your trash, our treasure. Yeah. Okay. Go to the pawn shop. Who's going to do what? Who wants I to be pushy? We'll be the. Or you could try charisma. You be the pushy one. I'll be the charismatic one. Okay. <laughs> Go to the pawn shop. Yes. Okay. I'm going to walk in and I. Go right up to the front desk over there to the gentleman. Yeah. Saying. He's in a cage booth. I ask him, um, there's some missing jewelry off of some graves. 
Have you been taking it? No, that sounds like work. I sit here. This guy sounds like me. No, are you buying them from people that are digging out the graves? Well, first of all, do you think I would ask anyone if they got it from a grave? That is a weird question. I assume most people wouldn't do that. Second one, um, what item are you talking about? There is a specialized sword and a pendant. pendant. Um, what's that you're going to use to interrogate him? Do you have any ability or are you just going to be like... I'm going to be very rude and I'm going to grab a hold of his cage and see if I can pull it off the wall. Okay, make a strength roll. Or at least rattle it. Rattle his cage. Some slinky lady said her family was going broke. Did you happen to get her name? No. Well, Can't read and write. When you say slinky, did she go downstairs? Like, no, thin, long lady dressed oh, okay. well. Oh, okay. Like she would have something like this lying around the house and would sell it for no reason. Okay. Could be the Baron House. Yeah. The one in charge of the whole fucking Druids of Doom. You make two dice six plus um your luck. Twenty nine. Twenty nine. Say something. Go ahead. What's that? My hallway. What is it? My hallway. What is it? I'm not looking. My corridor. What is it? Shh. That's a wall. Map. 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 <laughs> <laughs> um. You have a suddenly come up with and remember a, a piece of information that could be related to the situation. It doesn't, seem, which doesn't seem like it would be related at first, but you do remember a couple times when you were at the bar, mm -hmm. the uh, grave digger showing up with uh, paying for the rounds. And you wonder how could he do that living in that little shack. It's the love shack. Okay. You just kind of remembered that. That was your luck roll. Because you said you drink with him yep. at the bar. Yeah. And I tell them what I said, that I remembered. Okay. Well, go get your drinking buddy and find out who the fuck did it. All right. Let's head back over there. Okay. Head back to the place. Yep. To his. All house. three of you. Yeah. Okay. How do you want to approach it? Naked. Naked? Well, you can do so if you want. Um, you need to get naked for that though. I'm not going to knock on the door. I'm kicking the door open. What a meeting. Yep. Throw in and stuff. You'll kick the door open? Yes. <gasps> Falcon kick. Strength kick. roll. Huh? Strength roll. Uh, it shatters. Thirty-eight. Yeah, thirty-eight. 38? Yep. Okay. <coughs> 38 sounds pretty good. You bust the door open. You give a bumpering. Mm -hmm. Comes walking over from out in the grave. 
What are you doing at my door? By this point, it's evening. You guys are running around. Great. You were hiding on us on that one about the graves. What about them? Somebody's been robbing on them, and your <laughs> first number weren't one on it. The prime suspect. Yep. Who are you, cop? <coughs> Actually, yeah. <laughs> and I'm a pregnant well, lady. Uh, okay. We'll go get some. I'll be right back. Nope. To stand towards the house. Yeah. Fine, I'll go with you. Okay. I want to come. Sure, you can all come in. I want to see your house. It's rather small, but if you wish to come in. You guys go in there? Yep. Okay. Everyone roll 96. What'd you get? One. Four. Four. Okay. You get inside, look around, and you do see some odd things around the room. Hanging from the wall, on tabletops. <coughs> they don't look like stuff this guy should have. Neat. And then he says, but now that you know, I'm going to have to kill you. Fuck. <laughs> Which roll? 25. Okay. What's your points? Oh, God, we figured this out earlier. It was, uh, 50, 53. Okay. It didn't work this time. No. He bears his fangs. Ah, shit. Grabs Fuck the shovel vampire. And just comes running at you. He's going to kill you. Boom, boom, that bitch. So it's combat. The I first could, is magic. I could just fucking boom, bomb his shovel and it will explode on him. Make a dex check to catch it. I'm going to say third level because it's MR. I'm gonna do take that feet. Okay. Yeah. Fifty one. Nice. Okay. That's gonna reduce it. Okay. I made it seventeen. Seventeen? How much damage it does. Okay. These are actually, these adventure things were written back to when I was doing the game for your place. We are just finally getting a chance to use them. Oh, wow. <laughs> I have like 40 pages of them we haven't used. <laughs> wow. Okay. That's magic. You don't have any magic, do you? Uh, do you want to do a range or a physical attack? He physical. seems to be charging forward. Physical. <laughs> the fuck was that? Physical. Okay. I'm gonna try. Uh, I'm trying to keep him alive long enough to buy information, so I'm gonna fire my uh, my uh, bow into his shoulder and try and put him pin him to the wall. Okay. So you'll need a second level roll to hit him in the shoulder. Shoulder is 25 plus your agility, which isn't that bad. So for my what? Agility. Dex. Dex. Sorry. Dex. 26. 26. Don't screw it up. Ah, you made it. Yeah. Yeah. You made it. You're good. You roll damage for the uh, bow into his shoulder. How much? How many dice does it do? Uh, for a bow? Yeah. It's a. Uh, my bow was uh, five by six. Okay, five by six. Roll five dice plus your missile ads. Five. Five plus what? Your missile, missile ads. ads. It's actually Four moving. More. In the art room. Yes, it's 44. It so put it on your calculator, 44. And then add whatever you roll. Uh, 17. 
8, 9, 10. Plus 10. Plus 8. Plus 8. eight. Roll plus again. 4. Plus 4. Plus. Plus 8. Equals 74. Okay. He drops. He's dead. He was already a vampire. He was already dead. Yeah. But did we kill the vampire? Permanently kill a vampire? He's laying there on the ground. What do you do? Go there and slit his throat open. Um, I start defiling the corpse. No, um, that's raping. I'm gonna try and tie him up happen? to make sure, see if he if he wakes up, so I can get some information off of him. Okay. Oh, I was just gonna cut off his head. What are you guys just gonna do? I'm you gonna loot his house. You loot his house? Yeah. You know, that's the families of the people that had these in their tombs with them. Uh huh. Monster stuff back, you have to give them back. Yeah, this is all stolen property. If they find out. We're cops. You're like step cops. You're like not <laughs> white cops. <laughs> You're like Should diet. You tie her up? Oh, I'm gonna tie geez. you up and duct tape your fucking mouth shut. You guys are the <laughs> diet coke of cops. Just one calorie. Half. Not nearly enough. <laughs> 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 Is that the calorie? Yeah, it's right there. Got you. Yes, guys. Lisa, rent a cop. But like lamer than rent a cops? Okay. Like dial a thug? Like like mall cops that are like way too serious about their job. <laughs> Okay, so you tie him up. Mm -hmm. oh, he doesn't really bleed. Yeah. There's no heart rate. Would you stop? What are you guys doing? You check his house? I'm, I'm looting. You're looting? I'm going to go get the... Uh... The guard? Yeah. Okay. The actual city guy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> You'll send people to secure that situation. I'm looting. That's not a problem at all. Um, no, he will make sure it gets returned to whoever's graves it is. He'll have them come and ship, claim it. Well, the well this guy's got to have something that isn't stolen. I'm going to loot that shit. The <laughs> He's not using it. He's a vampire. Okay, here. Here. Here's what I'll give you. Roll a dice six. Yay. One. One. Penny. One thing. You should have done better than that. I should have. Here. I'm not very astute. Four percentage dice. Sixty-eight. Vampires <coughs> always have the coolest stuff. You found a one-inch cube. Each side painted with a different color. Rubik's cube. You're not sure what it is. It could be a toy or something like that, but... They look old like everything else he had here, so it's probably his. <laughs> yeah, like, I'm taking this. This is worth my time. What is it? I don't know, but it's worth it. It's a one inch six sided dice with different colors and set numbers. <laughs> or it could be something special. Probably. This is all I came for. Make it sound important. Ah, yes, here Hold it is. Hold out the door like it's baby Simba. <laughs> what is that? Oh, it's so important you can't afford it. I'm not ready! I bet you do. <laughs> okay, how long do you want to wait around with his body tied up here? Wait for the wait for the cops to get there. Okay, they all get there. Okay. The guard all arrives. They're not really cops, but yes. I know, we call them cops. Yeah. The guard shows up. Uh, with a uh, railroad priest to document what's here. And uh, 
What do you guys do? Leave it at that? We'll go let her friend know. Okay. We need to find out who the lady was that was selling it for uh, him. Good question. It was him in drag. They say he's dead. We can't ask him questions. He's been dead. He's a vampire. Oh. He's just They're unconscious. They're not allowed in town. Well, this one's in town already. Good job guarding. Well, then who infected It's literally him? your job title to guard. Who infected him? Don't know. Well, they, Had you slept with him? No, okay. not this one. The guy at the pawn shop said that a very slinky looking woman came in, sold the pendant that the vampire gave her, and said that their family was going broke, so she sold it. And okay, the next day you can find out, Grom will say, because that night he woke up. He apparently is a vampire, so he's not dead. He'll just come back after a day. Oh no, what a surprise. Um, but they're not all a problem. He works still, but we'll keep an eye on him. Uh, he did give us that uh, all the stuff he took for his vampire lady. Uh, she's somewhere around there, and she's the one that he took off for to give it to her. Because he loves her, and she made him. So we're dealing with a... <coughs> female. Female vampire. Who could possibly <coughs> turn anybody at any point in time. Possibly. We'll check into this more. Um, good job. Take 120 points for everyone. Did we... <coughs> the other one, you didn't get any. The experience? Because it's not done. Okay. Um, kind of is done. I guess we could call it that. What it is, <coughs> is what it is. What time is it? Almost 10. 9.39. Okay. Because that's actually, and I had planned for another person's stuff. All I had planned. We're pretty much done. We could call it done. What do you guys think? You want any more? Like another round? Another more. Yeah, sounds good. Okay. At least make it an even four hours. Is it? Is that as long as we're under four? We started at seven. What time is it? It's... 9.39 now. Okay, we're good. We'll have done before then. Um, actually, I got an idea. We got something we've been kind of not doing because, you know, someone doesn't play often enough anymore. We got two things. One we dealt with. Okay. What we have... No, we're not going to deal with Freya's. So that's kind of related to a smithy. Well, while you're figuring that out, I will be right back. Okay. Well, basically what I'm mentioning is... We took care of that one. We got those two done. Now we have... Well, we got one situation there, which we're going to go ahead and probably deal with. This will start with something you already started to encounter last time. Remember at the bar, you heard him talking about wanting to burn the priests? Yeah. Yeah, well, they want to go do it now. You see them gathering out in front of the uh, bar. They were apparently told to leave the bar. Oh, boy. There's about nine of them. And they want to uh, end the spell sickness as well as the well poisoning and other attacks these druids of doom have done to them. And they want to take them out and burn them on the stake. I don't like that idea. That's a bad idea. We should not do that idea. Do you 
Guys want to approach it? He's, he's seen them before talking to the barber. They haven't done anything yet. They're forming into a mob. They got some some uh, tools. You can call them weapons. Sticks. Torches. About nine people. You're one of them that they're going to burn down. No, I'm not. You can't prove that. You have the robe. He's not wearing it yeah, anymore. Yeah, what? I wasn't wearing it anymore. Yeah. They're going to try and t burn down all of the... the uh, Druids of Doom? Like yeah. witches. That are in the prison. Or in the uh, jail at the guard tower. Well, if they're the ones from underneath, that's fine. Yes, they are. Oh, well then those are fine. The ones from underneath what? Oh, no, no, they're people. Oh. They're just sick. Well, they were doing illegal things. You guys go check on them? Because they haven't gotten there yet. Yeah. Okay. There were three, right? Mm -hmm. There are now two. Oh, the Red Road Priest came to took one and took one of them, said they'd bring him back. Remember, you told them about it. They took one because they just want to know about the spells. So they only need one. Using spells is illegal, so if they die due to the people, they're not worried. Red Road Priests aren't cops. Son of a bitch. So they have two behind. They think they're going to be saved. Because they can hear people starting to gather outside. But you're inside the tower. What do you guys do? Well, they're throwing right. rocks at the sides of the guard tower. Good thing he's already paid to fix it. Well, we'll get some help from the other guards. There's two. Go talk to Grom. You can't get out. They surrounded the tower. Screaming and yelling. Look what you guys did. I'll throw that one out. Practice on this one. I'm going to chuck her out of the uh, tower. She may not want to go. It looks you might dangerous not have any choice in the matter. Well, what do we do? Plus, as you notice, the two guys that have been left in there have been without ritual for a few days. So they're looking pretty sick. Pretty weakened. They don't have power to defend themselves. I'm going to go see if I can talk to the mob. Okay. What do you want to say to them? They seem to be an angry mob. Make a good point, and I'll give you a charisma roll. They are being dealt with. <coughs> they are not the ones that have been poisoning you. One of them yells, they've seen them doing it. It is not these two. These two have been in custody. Well, they know who has. Yes, and we are dealing with them right now. Maybe we should make them tell us. We already took care of the person that did it. We are now cleaning up everything. The Red Road Priests are on top of it. No, we can't trust them. They always arrest people all the time for no reason. Grom is on top of it. He doesn't work in this area. Where's Mal? No. <laughs> he just sent this horrible orc guy to like beat us down and he got rid of the criminals but he, he, he like burnt the area. Now we want to burn these people. Sounds fair. Tell you what, we will bring you the orc that did it. He says no. <laughs> He's in the tower. <laughs> no. It's going to happen. I, uh, you guys all make intelligence savings. 25. 50. <laughs> 35. 30, yep. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, 
they're insisting on coming in and getting him. So you leave you might if that's the route, you're gonna have to fight him or you're gonna have to let him in. I'll lead you to him! They're looking for the, the druids. No. Now you cannot get the druids. Either fight them or you let them in. The question then would be, what do you do with them? You made high enough roll. What's under the tower? I could just send them down there. And uh, Grant, or uh, Mal assured that it's to remain a secret entrance, so no one knows it's there. You can hide him in the basement. Do you guys do that? Yes. I was going to kill them. But... Take him down to the basement? You can't burn them. I, I already stabbed them. And let the villagers go up to... Check the jail. Yeah. Go for it. Okay. Go on up. Make a luck roll. Those that hid the body. Who helped tie the body? Just, just Ado or? What body? The two bodies. The people. The They're sick. Drugs. They can't walk. Oh. <laughs> Did we kill them? I can. That'll, that'll get rid of this whole situation if I just murder them here. Just saying. It's off of what? Um, off your luck. Six. Okay. Thirty one. Okay, sounds like everything. What'd you get? Did you help hide the body or did you just talk to the people? I was oh, down yeah. dealing okay. with the people yeah. while you guys they... did fine then. They come in, they search around, you at least made third. So uh no, they don't find them. The Red Road Priest must have taken them. Oh Red Road Priest will probably kill them anyways. Wasn't me. That's all. Get out of here before the uh, city guard charges us with a uh, illegal gathering. They all run off. It is a fine they can be nailed with, but it would take a city guard. Mouse not here. There were two of them. Yeah, they're kind of private type things. Um, any questions you had about the whole red robe thing before? Because they're kind of willing to give up anything you need. Not the red robe. The uh, um, Druids of Doom. Um, what are, number one is, why, why do they get so sick off of it, is number one. That's the blessing. The best, yeah, the best we can guess is it has to do with making us look, keep looking, keep, keep doing the rituals. Yeah. It was a driving force. Is there a way to get I was only exposed because I was out kicking in the gardens and I heard some noise. I didn't even know what it was. I went home and the next day I felt like coming here and I found a ritual and that's how I got involved. Just Is there hearing a way it. to fix the cure onto it? I heard they're working on it, a cure. Uh, Red Row Priests are working on one. But so far, no, I haven't heard anything on it. Um, it the, the, it's weakened. We're not feeling it as much, but there's residual feeling of it's still striking us. We're not being driven to go do it. We're still losing energy. Now well, we got to find a cure soon. Still looking. Okay, that one's going to be worth 100 points to you. You stopped them from burning their poor priests. Or the druids. My friends. See, basically, all of their druids, the plants of the demonic realm are deadly. They'll kill you. They're like, you know, Venus flytraps on acid and steroids. So, that's why they're druids. But it's of, you know, controlling plants is scary if the plants eat people. Yeah, that's true. So, they'll tell you a little bit about, about that, about druids. How can druids be demons? Well, because they didn't want to be like the warriors. Think like uh, Rick and Morty and those aliens that would just kill everything. Did you ever talk about it? Big yeah. ones? Mm -hmm. 
and then there was the ladies that were separate. That's kind of this situation. Ah. The male, even female, but the warrior demons are vicious. It's constantly fighting war. Where there's the rogue, rogue and the, which is an acolyte, the druids, which is a mage, kind of hide. And they were trying to escape over here, but it didn't work out. But that's why we're trying to find what the gate is. We'll get back to that later. Um, I think we're good for now? Mm -hmm. That could be good, yeah. Okay, that finished everything, except for Freya's thing, which we can pick up another time. Because <coughs> it's to give her another little thing about the smithy world. So, that was a pretty good run. Mm -hmm. What were you doing, Guido? Got her head against the stove. Listening for mice. Could be, yeah. And we are done, people. Yep, everyone, we have fun. We'll see you next week. Okay, you're safe.